Let's unmute the microphone. Okay, Okay, that's good. And it's go time. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. And it's Wednesday, and Erlen's here. Hey, guys. Um, Welcome to the show where we play new games on classic consoles. uh, Specifically for now, the Atari 2600, but other ones coming soon. Oh, that's a future tease, man. It is. (laughs) You know, in television, Coleco, we're going to branch out a little bit into other realms of 8-bit homebrew. So that we cover other bases. I know 2600 is the biggest scene. That's right. I feel like the core of the show is that homebrew thing. It you is. You know what I mean? That's it's the like, core. And then everything else is, you know, I mean, Falls Atari off is that. amazing. But. Oh, yeah. And very, very unique. And that's that's why I love it. And that's why I picked it for kind of building the groundwork of, of this show and, and making that the machine that uh, is the focus, really. <laughs> Hi, Earl Ann. <laughs> Earl Ann. Oh, oh, that kind of is a combination of both of our names. That's kind of funny. That's funny. That's great stuff. There's a lot of people <laughs> on chat now, which is amazing. Uh, oh, it's yes. Like, what do we have? Coming with, in. Got Mojo Filter 2. Uh, uh, Rena Foot, Mr. Fix, Fix. Nathan Strunk. Ground Trooper. Ground Trooper. Uh, I know there's some earlier ones here, and there's a cat about to be kicked out. No. Nope. Yeah, Pixel's, Pixel is like, he loves this mixing board. You can just <laughs> see he's just staring at it, ready to oh. jump on the key. Come on. The key sound thing. Oh, and I've forgotten my, um, my tablet upstairs oh no do you want to run and get it it's probably would you run and get it i'll go get it that's probably better yeah (laughs) unless you want to be subjected to just sitting by yourself (laughs) wasting time coffee slowly and (laughs) stare stare straight into the camera um ask tanya she'll she'll know where it is it's plugged in um so welcome to zero page homebrew and we are back from portland retro gaming expo yeah, Pixel is the one that jumps on the mixing board, and that is not allowed because then things would stop making sounds, and we don't want that. We've got a great show for you today. Uh, we've got the retail boxed copy, finally, of Mappy from Champ Games, John Shampo, and we've got an exclusive, that's why you're all here, exclusive new game from Champ Games, work in progress, early work in progress. It's Elevator Action, and one of the earliest versions of a bus stuffing game. We've got a tablet now. We do, now I can have my um, show format. I was was charging it, and I was like, oh, I gotta get it before the show starts again. Then I totally forgot, of course. MC Pixel, the mixing feline, that's (laughs) right, man. Mostly muting feline, it just presses the mute, and it just doesn't work out so well. Um, so we're going to play Mappy, Elevate, oh, yeah. Ele- Mappy the boxed version. Holy cow, yeah, I remember Mappy. I'm, yeah, so we're going to play it again for a little bit, because we mostly mm-hmm. played it. Um, because I got it at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, there was only 50 copies, so it's kind of a, uh, a, a, a rare item how, for I, now. I gotta ask, how was Portland? Really good. Really good. We'll you, get into okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. But it was amazing. It was like one of the best times in my life. <laughs> wow okay yeah. that's high praise man it was amazing uh we're going to be playing elevator action which is an exclusive for uh this show it's also made by champ games same person as mappy damn um it's a early work in progress and it is one of the few examples of a game that's being made with bus stuffing so that's a new technology for the 2600. Wow. If you can believe that, there's still advancements, and we'll get into what. Well, bus that's stuffing the thing. You got to well. keep pushing it. You yeah. have to. And it's amazing that it can still be pushed yeah, further absolutely. and further. And the third game we're going to play is Seaweed Assault, and that is a competition game for October. We're nearing the end of October. Oh, that's the next episode is going to be Halloween one, so I couldn't include it in that one. So I had that to push it. Uh, so we're going to be pushing for high scores. High scores today. And there's not too many people in the leaderboard. Okay. So mm. I I suspect we have a decent chance of getting uh, anyone we know on the leaderboard. We'll, we a, can talk about that it, when we get. Yeah, there. it's a lot of the usual suspects. Yeah, I get. You know, it is a small, devoted, wonderful crowd of people. It is. Uh, come to come to know and love. Yes. Uh, and there's some people who uh, worked on Mappy, so that's really? wonderful. Nathan Strom and I supposed to. Uh, so I want to thank all the people, uh, the Twitch subscribers, who uh, send a couple dollars our way, subscribing through uh, 
Twitch Prime, which is Amazon Prime. You just click subscribe if you're an Amazon member and it costs you nothing and it supports the channel. Atari Spot, A Tasty Sandwich, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Jeffrey2123, Mr. Fix, Retro Happy Hour, and Tiki Dan K. Damn, all the usuals. That's, That's amazing. right. And uh, uh, and all the people who come and chat, I want to thank them for uh, showing up week after week and supporting the show. Absolutely. And uh, checking in with us. And I've got a poll for this week. What's the? Okay, let's find out about this poll. Uh, may, some people may not know uh, about this, um, but at the Retro Gaming Expo, I mean, I talked about it before. Uh, the Coleco Phoenix, which is an FPGA hardware Coleco. Um, the hardware Coleco emulator. Phoenix. Yeah. Feels make I can understand it the mythological the exactly yes, the mythological course. reference. Um, it was revealed at Portland Retro Gaming Expo or just before around there anyway that it will support Atari games. So you'll be able to with an adapter plug in an Atari game and play it on the Coleco just like they did back in the 80s. They had an adapter for the Coleco which was basically an Atari in a little box that all it did was use their output but it's an hdmi uh system that is perfect like it runs exactly the same hardware as a coleco but the poll is now that there is going to be atari 2600 vcs compatibility to what extent i don't know but it's fpga it's it it can eventually be perfect would you plan on getting that because it's FPGA, it has HDMI out, and it should eventually be a perfect emulation. I'm going to put up the poll right now. Oh, cool. And uh, let's see what people think of that. Oh, man, this cat is just... He's, uh, he's all over the place. And let's, uh, oh, let's get back to the studio. Did it put it up? Oh, there's... Oh my god, the cat Ooh. is going crazy. Pixel's climbing, he's just wrecking <laughs> James's monitor. Yeah. And now he's just smelling shit. It's it's he, he, it's he wants like... to be everywhere. Cats have their territory. Okay, now he's mixing the mo the show again. Yeah, don't. He's just hanging on okay. Um Oh, apparently Mojo Filter was in a coma, so he uh he was out of it for a while. What? Wow, that's really crazy. That's quite a something to drop. Are into you the okay, channel. Mojo? What happened? How did you? I mean, you do not get into any medical things you do not want to talk about. But statement number one. But if you, there's a story you want to tell wow. us, please, I'd love to hear it. Because a coma is not a trivial thing. No one knows how he got into a coma. <gasps> wow. You, you, you're it, just it just happened? You are just discovered and you are out of it and they took you to the hospital? There's got to be a story of some kind, even if it's just the not Who discovering. Who found you? Like, did were you, you at work? Were you driving? Were you at long, home? How long was the coma? Oh, man. It was... I was discovered. <laughs> In a ditch? Wow. Your, your boyfriend discover you? Wow. I'm that's happy to scary. hear you're okay. That's, that's Imagine quite discovering, the... discovering He's your come a home. family member. Yeah. Or a loved one, and they're out of it. You Honey, can't what wake are you doing? Up. Get, get up. We got some stuff to do. And then, like, <laughs> nothing. How, when do you jump to the conclusion that they're in a coma and you have to, like, <laughs> not a deep sleep? Asleep in his bed. Two cats are sleeping on. T it was the cats. You know, it's, I blame the cats, too. Pixel. Pixel's <laughs> over there causing trouble. Oh, so. man. Um, I mean, if I was to go into a coma, I, I want to do it with two cats sleeping on me. I'm just <laughs> the saying cats will watch me. That is the silver lining that I'm trying to find in this this yeah. story. I thought he'd let you sleep. Oh, that's God. I would do the same thing. That was would be like, that's oh, reasonable. He's deep, they're deep asleep. You know, you go and not wake them. Yeah. Oh my God, that's crazy. That's so scary too. Because oh when you're in a coma, they have to wake me up to go to dinner. Yeah, because it would take you a whole day. You'd be like, honey, what's What's happening? We gotta, go. we gotta go, and here's slap me around like the cartoon. Oh man! I would probably do that before jumping to conclusions. Well, yeah. Like, you know, just try and yeah, that's, get you up that's and going. The next beat, nothing works, so we call the paramedics. Nine one one at that Jesus. point. Jesus. Okay. So um, that's crazy and terrible. Uh, well, how, I'm happy you're back yes. watching the show and and functional and typing and then, and, and with it. That's that's great. Uh, but that's terrible. That uh, I have a ton of stories, but I'll shut up. Okay. Um, so PR Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Yes. Amazing. I went down there. It's a six-hour drive. Um, it goes from Friday to Sunday. Friday the arcade games are just open because before they they just had Saturday Sunday, and you had to divide divide your time between like looking around at yeah, all the new which cool is tough. things. So they added a third day a couple years ago, 
that you could just see, play see the video mojo. game. Bye, Thanks Mojo. Thanks for telling us the story. We'll, we'll, and we'll see you on YouTube and, later. And thank your boyfriend for uh, taking care of you, I guess. Hell yeah. And and getting you back and going and taking to the hospital and, and all of that. we folks. I like being folks. Oh, yeah, okay, folks sorry. is good. Folks is good. Uh, Portland. And um, it was one of the most amazing times yeah. I've ever had. The photos on Facebook looked amazing. <laughs> I was stalking it a, like a little bit. Yeah, so um, I got to hang out with like the, the big superstars of the um, retro scene. Um, David Crane. Yeah. I, I went to dinner with a whole bunch of amazing people. Um, David Crane, who did Pitfall. Wow. Like the guy who'd made Pitfall, yeah, for Activision in in back in the day. What were these dudes like? Oh, what they had a guys... million stories, right? They Did... just they, they had stories upon stories upon stories of back in the day, what's happening now, what's happening in the future. None of which I can repeat. Of course, uh, no, because it's confidential. It and is, you, and you also the issue there is that if you repeat that, they're never telling you anything again. No, of course not. And these guys were were really cool, really funny. And amazing to hang around with. Like, you get all the inside scoops. What right? did they talk about that wasn't related? Just, what, or did you guys, I mean, that's your in. You're there Most for of the it thing. Because they're going to, you know, they're going to talk shit. They're going <laughs> to they're gonna say stuff that only they know and other people don't know. Oh, they, yeah. It was mostly, like, super that's, had, crazy confidential stuff. Did they, did they know of the show? Stuff. Pardon me? Did they know about this show? Were they, did they? Well, they're they're not homebrew guys. Okay, uh, Some sense. of those guys. Um, the main guy was Dan Kitchen who is doing new homebrew games. He's doing the new Gold Rush, which was yeah. Keystone Capers 2, and um, Bon Voyage. So mm -hmm. he's a guy who did do programming back in the 80s for Activision, and now is, is like the only guy who has ever come back from programming games for the 2600 and is now doing homebrew again. And so he's in a very unique position. So he's he's up to date with a little bit of the homebrew, right? Yeah. Because he's just getting back into the scene and what's happening. Um, I also was with um, Dan Kitchen's um, brother, Gary Kitchen, who is another superstar back in the day. And also the National Video Game Museum people, um, John Hardy, Sean Kelly, and Joe Santulli. And John, uh, Sean Kelly is also a big Vectrex guy. Yeah. And he makes Vectrex multi-carts, so a whole bunch of games on one cartridge. Um, so he's very well known in the Vectrex scene. Um, and I also did uh, three big interviews with some homebrew people, and they went amazing. They're about a half hour each. Wow, and you're going to drop those? You're going to drop those throughout oh. the next week. Um, I'm almost, almost done the... Um, the Champ Games, John Champo, the guy who did Mappy. Yeah. That's going to be the first one I'm going to drop either tomorrow or the next day. So Thursday or Friday. So that'll be out. And I also interviewed Al Yaruso from Atari Age, the guy who, you know, he's the hub of all homebrew pretty much nowadays. Yeah. Uh, he, has, he runs the forum. He runs Atari Age. He puts out all these homebrew games. Um, so I talked to him about a lot of stuff. Um it's amazing. So you're, you're seeing the big picture in a big, probably now. <laughs> yeah, you're getting, you're you know, getting a you, sense of... You get an overview of what's happening, you know. Um, I also interviewed Dan Kitchen, yeah. who's the guy I was just talking about, and talked to him about his two new games coming out. Flip that up. Um, so I got a lot of details on his new games and also saw a lot of exclusive screenshots um, that I will be working into the interview. So he's going to send them on to me. So you guys will see brand new stuff never seen before in the interview with Dan Kitchen on his new game Bon Voyage and probably some video of Gold Rush, which is Keystone Capers 2. So keep stay tuned for that. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> some big, big, big stuff. And uh, yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff down there. So let's uh, let's check it out. Let's do some unboxing. So these were the uh, amazing, fun little um, lanyards that they gave out, which are of course twisted all together. Um, they are modeled after um, Mega Man Two. Oh, I've had the eyes. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So that's the weekend pass. Really, really cool. Mega Man 2 style cartridges, NES cartridges. And all the people that were going down also were able to get 
um, Atari Age badges. Oh. Personalized Atari Age badges. Zero page homebrew is so, on this friggin' thing, man. So it's official. You know, zero page homebrew from Vancouver. Both wow. uh, mine and Tanya. The Canadians. That's who's right. Making sure you don't fall down and <laughs> pay, that's pay an right. ambulance bill. Yeah, that's our identification, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh. <laughs> um, so. I was wanting to get one of these, so I got an extra oh, Genesis controller great. so we both can play. Yeah, because this is Genesis. a really good one. Yeah, I love that, and I've always wanted to get a second one, but uh, so I found it for a decent price down there. Um, so hopefully it works. I haven't tested it yet. We'll find out. But they're pretty simple inside, and I made sure I, I got saw a... you rip one apart at one point. I did, yeah. And I was like, oh, James, are you, are you sure? <laughs> is it going to... Oh, it works better now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty simple, and this one's in really nice shape, so usually when it's nice on the yeah. outside, it works on the inside, or it broke really early and they never touched it. <laughs> yeah, you'll find out. Yeah. It's and I half got... of the fun of this stuff, though. It man. is, you know, investigating it. And I got two Coleco controllers. Oh. I, those in themselves are not a big deal. But I got them for this because... I'm not going to take it off, but this is an add-on to it. Really? Uh, so you can kind of move So around? it's more of a, an arcade-style joystick um, because the, the original controller is only about that high. If you look, like that yeah. big. So it's really hard on your hands, but this... Makes it a lot easier. Makes it a lot better. Oh, I see. So it's it's more like an arcade joystick. So very, very nice. Let's move on to bag this number two. It's like two. a 90s cell phone or something. <laughs> you know, you just plug beep, it. It's beep, like beep. your car Hello? phone or something. Coleco, are you there? Yeah. There's a star in pound. <laughs> it does. In does. case you, I don't know, you want to hashtag your... No, that's a, that's <laughs> hashtag, a, that's yes. a different thing. There's no such thing as uh, pound anymore. It's all hashtag. That's right. If you ask uh, James, the why is there a hashtag on this Coleco? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can hashtag while you're, you know, playing your games, <laughs> right? Um, no, it's for menu options. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so let's get into some of these other bags oh, here. Um, we have... We like playing our DS, our 3DS. Uh, look what I got. Doodle Dude. Jump. So Doodle Jump came out for DS. That's, you know, the original Doodle Jump. Well, yeah, that's Not what Poodle it's... Jump or Amoeba Jump no, or anything. Or any of the so that one, uh, I played it. It's really fun because it's you tilt the DS oh, that's to fun. move your guy. That's, that's, that's where, like, cell phones and stuff happen. I got Atari's Greatest Hits. So a whole bunch of um, Atari 2600 games and arcade versions. Wow. And it's nice because the paddle ones you use the pen to move, like for breakout, you can use the pen to move your controller. See, back they and got forth. like highlighted ones and non highlighted. <laughs> highlighted ones are like the big ones. I guess so. Yeah, those would be like the ones people I feel know. Like Millipede is a big one, and it's not highlighted. Yeah, maybe it's company. Maybe like it companies. must be or something. Yeah, those might be the highlighted ones. Mister Fix, we want shoplifter. <laughs> That's right, man. And I got uh, Indiana Jones Lego for my nephew. Um, I picked up from the Atari Age um, booth, Satan's Hollow for the 5200. This is Are a... you going to hell for that one? Yes, dude. and this is a port from the um, uh, computer line of Ataris. Um, because they use the same architecture, so somebody ported that. Yeah. Um, hopefully it's good. I've not played it. Um, I got Jumpman Jr. for... This is the Atari uh, home computer, which also works on the Atari XEGS. Wow. Okay, I'm learning which like, is this. so much stuff. Um, so this plugs in, and you get a uh, computer uh, level... Um, experience of that game, of that cartridge game. Thank you, Mr. Fix, for still pushing Shoplifter and reminding us every time, dude. <laughs> That's right. You, you will not let us forget, and I love that so much. Um, for the Commodore 64, I got Gateway to Apshai, which is one kind of, of my favorite games for C64. It's like a dungeon crawler, you open chests, you fight, you fight creatures. I mean, we played the Atari 2600 um, port-ish of this recently and it's got some of the same creatures but it's not walking through a maze and opening doors so and stuff so it's a little different it's inspired by but not truly yep 
And I bought my first Intellivision homebrew. Whoa. Which is Jump King Jr. So if you look at that. Oh, Jump Man Jr. So that's the original. So this is Jump King Jr. This is like the, this is the zippy <laughs> of. <laughs> yes, this is the, the zippy of of Jump Jump Man Jr. And I played it at the Intellivision. Um, oh, what is their Intel? Oh, I can't remember their booth name, but at the Intelli Television booth where they're selling it. Um, Intellivision games are a little bit more expensive than twenty six hundred yeah. homebrew. So this was sixty dollars. U.S. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough pill to swallow, but yeah, I love this game so much. That's quite a few Starbucks's. It's a lot of coffees. It costs a lot of coffees. Um, but I wanted it really, really okay. badly, and I okay, went Atari. waffled Pixel. back and forth. This is getting now. Look, he's he's like staring at the lens. <laughs> Did he put his nose in the lens? Yeah, it's like locked, but he was just staring at the the. the oh, that's so uh, funny. okay. Off you go. Continue on with the goodies. Whole bunch of paperwork, um, gaming expo stuff. Oh, and Television Revolution. That's the booth that I got the Intellivision at. So here's all their all their games: Donkey Kong Jr., Jump King Jr., Sea Venture, uh, Super Super Pixel Brothers. I'm definitely going to buy that when it comes out. Oh, that looks cool. It's Mario, but it's all blocks. Like you are a block. The coin things are like a solid color block. Your red block. Enemies are like purple blocks. The clouds are white blocks. That's smart. Super crazy, and super fun. It looks like. And I played it for a little bit. It's not out yet, so. But that's another one I'll be buying. And there was all these cards you could collect, that all around the place um, of different systems, and they were scattered everywhere. I tried my best to find all of them, but I think I got about five or six. They did have a complete set for sale, but I I didn't want to buy it. I just wanted to have a hunt, scavenger yeah, hunt. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like being like, hey, do you want this medal? Just <laughs> buy it for running this race. It's like, no, oh, I want to run the race. Run the race. Yeah. It's called an activity. Or you can just buy it. your win. No. <laughs> buy your win. Buy to win. And Atari Age Flyers of all the new games that are out, including Mappy there. And here's a list of all the new games and the price sheets. Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Here's another one. This one's the Atari 2600. Of course, I didn't pa couldn't pass that one up. No, that you one have was to... at the Atari Age booth. That's smart. Yep. That feels like it adds up. Yep. Um, and this one is a Coleco one. Oh, it's so hard to do this. It's it so is. It's reverse. And move towards James. There we go. Yeah, close enough. They get the idea. Um, That's the one that counts, man. It is. That's the one that counts. And, of course, Portland booklet. I'm pretty sure I had another card as well here, but it's disappeared. Did you um, meet anybody um, from the show? Nope. Nobody was, no fans nobody was brave enough. I, okay. I, I did see some people posting in the forums that they went there. But I don't know if they're aware of the show. Sure, and, you know, it, like that. it has to intersect just in the right way. Yeah, there's a little them, bit of... And they have to know that I'm going to be there, and they have to be have aware to be of the right me. spot and all that. And here, this was given me by Dan Kitchen. Here, you can take a look at that one. These are the cards for Gold Rush, his new game. Wow, Casey O'Kelly. That's the protagonist's name oh it's so hard working backwards here i know it's a nightmare it's, it just seems like an easy thing it seems like it should be easy but it's, everything's in reverse so, it's because we stare at mirrors right i know we're so used and to so we're this. like oh this is but the issue is, is so this is the gold rush railroad collectible trading card the conductor casey o'kelly instead of uh keystone capers he's still working off that kind of thing casey o'kelly new for the atari 2600 so they got a whole wow. Whole bunch of those, of course. <laughs> right from the man himself, Dan Kitchen. And now we're going to get into uh, where I spent all my money. <laughs> which is going to be... Which was at Atari age. <laughs> yeah, that's, what I, that's how it should be. Um, there you can see that's in U.S. <laughs> yep. They got a lot of my money. So, first one up is Balloon Trip on cartridge. Oh, there you man. go. So finally, it has come out on cartridge. That's cool. Yeah. 
try that again. Ah, uh, close enough. Thinking that's that's pretty good. A blurry ver a little, version. Gives you a sense of things. Yep. Wow. Froggy for the seventy eight hundred. Is that like the other one? That's, that's the, the more. The, that's the more advanced. Uh, twenty six hundred. Yeah, it's like Frogger, but it's, it's not Frogger. It's, it's Froggy. Not fro not froggy. Fro that's right. It's a very different kind of animation too for froggy <laughs> still a frog yeah it looks it's a little bit different. squat there um i got dungeon 2 solstice so we'll be playing that I'm, oh man I, that's I, an I, rpg that's my favorite kind of game I'm, yeah. I'm into that so that'll be fun uh and we have mappy boxed version there we go <sighs> Whew. yeah this is what we're playing today right? yeah that is that's the first one up so there is only 50 copies right now of that. Oh man! And they were only uh, they were exclusive. Are they numbered? To Portland Retro Gaming? No, it's not no, a limited. No, no. They just don't open it up yet. We'll wait till uh, okay, was, we, wait till we play. My little paws are just uh, rearing, uh, digging to rip it apart. <laughs> uh, and the balloon trip manual, but we will play that at some point in the future. Let me put these away back in the box. I have not cataloged these yet. And That's okay. written no them down one, my spreadsheet. No one expects that yet. And put them in yet. protective cases or anything. Let's get up to the next bag. Ooh. First, a whole bunch of stickers. Oh my goodness. So many stickers. For the 7800, I got the Pac-Man collection, which is Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Hangly Man. <laughs> wow. And Pac-Man Plus. So all the same idea. Yeah, maze, eating dots. I Running got, away from ghosts. Yeah. I got uh Space Cactus Canyon. Um for the twenty six hundred. And that's a fun game. That looks cool. That we will be playing. I got the first dungeon. Ooh. The other one's the sequel. So this is dungeon version one. Racy cover. <laughs> oh, very racy cover. My goodness. Good. Let's put those over there. Into the last bag. Oh, some more things here. Um, also for the Atari computer line, I got Quicks, Kicks, Quicks, Q I X. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I don't know if anybody's ever played it. You have to cordon off little squares while things are attacking you on this board, and you draw squares to. Ah, oh, that sounds fun. To uh, that cover the whole board. Cool. Yes, and there's an Atari version that we'll be playing at some point. Damn. It's a little bit different, but it works. Star Wars: The Arcade Game for the um, Atari computer systems. Is that a classic? That must be. That's a, classic. a great game. A very good conversion for the 2600 as well. Really, really good. Um, and I got. Super Pac-Man for the 7800. Oh, cool. So Looks that's, like a little different. It is very, very different. There's keys and there's you locked switch areas. switch things around. Yeah, because that's the thing is like, we all know and love Pac-Man and his, you know, <laughs> pill-popping <laughs> <laughs> yep. life, lifestyle, but <laughs> let's, let's mix it up. That's right. And Junior Pac-Man. Which is a scrolling screen. Whoa. That's the difference in Junior. It's bigger than the screen. So you get to kind of like... It makes oh. sense when you're a kid, everything's... Uh... Ground Trooper says kicks. That's how yeah. you pronounce it. So that's what I thought. But I wasn't quite, quite sure. It's like quicks? Kicks? Quicks. Kicks? There we go. There is my haul. That's a really good haul, man. I was looking for a couple other things. I was looking for a um, Galaga Marquis. You know, the ones that come out of the top of the arcade cabinets. And they're kind of plexiglass kind of stuff. And I was also looking for a 2600 Heavy Sixer as well, which is the original version of the VCS, the first one that was put yeah. in. I did see one, but it was in a box, and I don't like paying a premium for a box because I have no storage space for a well, box. Well, yeah, and you're not, you're going to be using it, right? So yeah, the, the a little bit. Not, yeah, really. not really. <laughs> I use this one because it's the high quality this is the RGB one. output version. Yeah, it's a tough thing too with the collection, right? Because I mean, yeah, you, you, you have want... to get the right version for the yeah. right price and the right quality. I saw one for ninety, and it was a little scuffed up, and I was like, and there's nah. also an intuition, you know. It's when you find the thing that feels right, you gotta get it, and if it doesn't feel right, it's not worth it. 
No. Because it'll bug you. You'll see it and be like, ooh. And I was deciding on the one in the box. And I was like, oh, maybe I should get it. And I walked back there. And somebody was buying it right right as I was walking up. And you were like, there you go. So I was like, oh, there. Fate Fate. has decided for me. Because if that person hadn't bought it, I was... I might have bought it. Yeah, you I don't probably would have. Because I didn't actually open the box to see the condition. Yeah, but you hesitated. I did. And that was. And that was enough. You know, I already made my decision when I hesitated the first time. Yep. Okay, so we're going to open up Mappy, which I just did. Ooh. Uh, um, so this is limited right now to 50 copies. It was only sold at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, um, but it will be coming out in November for wide release. In the Atari Age store. So you do, Atari Age stores online, I'd be saying yeah. you can just cool. Yeah, you can just click and and buy it there. Um, so just wait till November if you're waiting for that and you weren't able to get to Portland Retro Gaming Expo or get somebody to go there for you and buy it. Um, so this is a big deal to be playing this. It is. It's probably this one is... of the first um, people at home to be playing it. Not that we haven't played it before. Very exclusive versions. Yeah. Stop wrecking the couch. Pixel's just wanting something. Today. Attention. Yes. It's attention. So let's open it up and see. <laughs> I suppose it's like rub it in, James. I don't even have Mappy. He's the guy who did the sound and the music for it. Yeah. That's rough, right? That is rough. <laughs> Cause, because I... Al makes these like on the spot. Really? Almost. When he's at the convention. Because he can burn anything onto these obviously he has to have labels and he sticks the labels on yeah but he and he flat packs the boxes and kind of assembles them at that's at, a, that's got to be a pretty cool experience too to be standing there when it's like yeah it, it's pretty pretty cool um so let's, <laughs> mr fix don't encourage pixel yeah he's got enough <laughs> do not encourage pixel so the front of the box has some great colorful artwork as you can see there we've got mappy and we've got uh, the cats up there. And it's a uh, perfect time to have Pixel. Goro. Here we go. Reli- relive all the excitement of the original arcade classic on the 2600. Guide Mappy through the cat burglar's lairs and retrieve the stolen goods. But we wear the booby traps and their crafty leader, Goro. Can you help Mappy win the day and bring those cats to justice? Psst. Stop it, please. Stop please. it, Pixel. Show it off. <laughs> um, amazing arcade graphics, music, and sound effects by Ayas Bosta. Thanks, Ayas Bosta. The music and sound effects. Bonus rounds, high score saving, and much, much more. Copyright 2018, Champ Games, published by Atari Age. And I didn't get it signed That's by okay. John Champo because I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about things being signed too much. I mean, I interviewed the guy, I hung out with the guy. Yeah. Like that's there, that that's the big deal. And man, right? I, it is a difference. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you make that mistake. Like if you get someone to sign something, all of a sudden it changes that. Yeah. You know, I, I, it changes that relationship. Yeah, because right? it's all of a sudden you're like, oh, now I, oh, you know. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and you get a poster. Let's check out this oh, you get poster. A poster. There we go. You get a poster. And Nathan Strum has all the artwork, just not on a box, because I believe Nathan Strum did, did all, all the. Artwork. Let me just make sure here. Graphics, Nathan Strum. Wow. Yep. Manual text, Nathan Strum. Strum. Label box and manual design, Nathan Strum. So, oh, he so did, you did this, he did man. Everything you see, like visually, Nathan Strum did. So this is Thanks, amazing. Nathan. This, this is, is beautiful artwork, and they had huge banners up at yeah. the Atari Age booth. They were gorgeous. And um, Al's like, oh, I have lots of these in storage from old games, like when they had them. And and he's like, oh, I got to I gotta auction these off one day. And I'm like, oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting them. Probably the programmers will get uh, first dibs at those. So somebody's imbibing on uh, some, some legal uh, uh, goodies out yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, it's, this just James has the window open for some fresh air, and the air is not so fresh anymore because yeah. someone is smoking something. So outside. this is beautiful, wonderful, amazing, uh, Nathan. Great job. And I will, co- of course, keep it pristine and never hang it up because <laughs> I am like that. And a, look at this manual. Look at the cover. It's work. crazy. 
There we go. So it says Mappy Forest on it. It's like a little comic almost, right? Oh, it is a comic. Never mind. Damn. First couple pages are a comic. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, that's great. We get actual instructions now. Radio, TV, computer, painting, safe. That's a safe. I thought it was a floppy disk. Oh, it makes more sense now. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense. Okay, okay. We're just too zoned into the retro. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Way too zoned in. Uh, oh, where's John at? Yeah, he's not here tonight. Oh, he's probably recovering. Most likely. Um, so let's pop this out and pop it in. There we go. Oh, that cat's going to have to be kicked out, Pix I think. Pixel is, is it's, yeah. Pixel has gotten like like nine warnings. Man. Yes. Say goodbye. Bye bye. Out you go. Yep. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry buddy. It's just too disruptive. So we're gonna pop this in. And let's switch it over so that you guys can see it turning on. And how's our Coleco poll going? So we've got 12% saying yes, they'll buy the new Coleco. 25% saying no. And 62 60. saying maybe. So I guess they're waiting to see how compatible it is, how cool it is, reviews of it. That makes a lot of sense. Because it is risky. It is, it is about $200. So it does make sense to kind of wait. And... Yeah, you want to scope that stuff out. It's like, um, what was that, Retron 70? Yeah, see, know? I outlaid the money for that. And, yeah. and I suffered the consequences because I haven't opened it since because it's terrible. That's and, it is one of those things where you wait for the reviews, man. I can understand that maybe. Yep. So. Uh, oh, yeah. So let's take a look at the map. Oh, I suppose this has got a good tip. He says, if anyone wants a full size poster, you can contact Al for the file. Oh. And you can get it printed yourself for like 15 bucks. And he said he really? did that with Star Castle, which is really smart. Wow, that's great. Okay, so Mappy didn't work. Let's turn that on again. There we go. Uh, I was worried for a second. This is like that moment of... <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure Al... Wait a second. Don't press the button. I have to it, n look at the graphics. Those are new. That uh, <laughs> the, uh, the the little mousy guy is brand new. Wow. On the front. I can't remember what it was before. It was some other guard work. Mappy, Micro Police, Goro, Big Boss, Big Bit, Meowki, Naughty Folk. Oh, did you see it displayed like that too? Yeah. It scrolled on. Oh, John Shampoo is at the top. These are all the people that helped him out. Nathan. Nathan Strum's there. MH. Hmm. Don't know. Okay, demo. So awesome. Beautiful artwork. Does the manual explain why the trampolines and opening doors render cat cops useless? My cat can handle both. Yeah. See, my, my cat can't get through the doors. So, so let's take a look. Note, always turn console power switch off when inserting or removing an Atari Age game program cartridge. <laughs> yes. Uh, disassembling microwave ovens for use in booby traps is not recommended. Yeah, Doing no so one, may uh, void your manufacturer's that. warranty. Also, it's probably really dangerous. No yeah, radiation. Is yeah, just... all that. Hello, Doug 0909. Do we know that? I don't think I've seen that. I've never seen this. Uh, Beautiful this artwork. Does... Okay, so... Let's get into the game. Now, I don't look remember the... how to oh, do this. Oh, look at the one. Oh, oh. you know, somebody's going to complain about my my game system. Really? Having mistiming. Yeah. So, the per, people looking at the, the one, the level there, my system has a timing issue, apparently, yeah. where the color timing is, is one pixel off on oh, certain no. items. So, disregard that. Okay. Okay, go for it. Oh yeah, this music! Looks fine there. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's right behind you! Um... Okay, I don't really remember how to play this game yet. Oh, it's just get all the paintings and telephones. Get that telephone okay. first, or radio. Is it a radio? It is... a radio. Bam, okay, I'm not doing like, not terribly. Oh god, <laughs> You haven't died oh, yet, god. right? So, there you go, got the Mona Lisa. It's amazing that they're able to, like, make it's that always identifiable. It's always a good thing to get the Mona Lisa. The story. Cat burglars what? are nothing new, but these burglars are oh, actual cats. Idiot. Having perpetrated a rash of thefts, they've stashed their loot 
and a series of abandoned mansions. Oh, so it's not their mansion. It's not their hideout. It's, it's, they're stashing these things in, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 that was close. That's not um, cool. Damn. You're Mappy, the city's finest police officer. You've been chosen to crack the case. Unfortunately, you're also a mouse and you're outnumbered. This is not going to be easy. Check your difficulty switches. Whoa. Oh. Yep. Whoa. They're both on hard. Whoa. So. Oh, no, I died again. Yeah, the difficulty switches were on hard. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, I was doing, like, decent, given my... There we go. Yeah, he's supposed is on that. He's, Thanks he's on I it. Thanks, I'm supposed to, dude. Yeah, thank you. I remember uh, this is one of the very first games I played on the show, actually. Oh, uh, well, so good this introduction. Is coming full circle. There you go. Knocked him off. Uh, your mission is to infiltrate the cat burglar's lairs and retrieve the stolen loot. Uh, you won't be able to apprehend the cats. <laughs> That's what I always wondered. Why can't you just arrest the cats? No, you have no power. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. I just needed it's to go back. It's the doorknob. It's the doorknob is the direction it opens. Oh, okay. This is good to know. So it'll blast in that direction or knock them like in that direction. Pretty much dead. Yeah, it's your last life. Uh, you can stun them by slamming doors on them and turning their own booby traps against them, but don't let them catch you. If even one of those cats get their paws on you, you'll be cat chow. <laughs> <laughs> cat chow? <laughs> oh, Tiki Dan is here. Hi. Hey, Dan. How's it going? Welcome. Uh, move the joystick left and right to move Mappy. Running into a loot item will collect it. Um, so... Um, Tiki Dan or, T or Dan K is one of the people I interviewed uh, down in Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and his interview will be coming out. I want to say early next oh, I week. Died. Um, probably. Oh, Splendid Nut is here. Hey, Splendid Nut, welcome. And we, I got. Can I give another go? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm okay, still reading. Cool. So we're on standard mode now. Everything's everything's good. Uh, move the jo joystick left and right to move map. You're running into a loot item will collect it. Yeah. Press the joystick button to open a door, close a door. On some text screens, you can also press the button to skip ahead. To pause the game, toggle color black and white. Uh, toggle again oh, or God. press the joystick to... Oh, that was a quick death. Oh, they all got you. Yeah, they just <laughs> ganged up from left came. and right. Um, press reset to restart a game. Left difficulty. Loot is located in the same position on each level. For B, A, loot is located in random positions at the start of each level. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, the right difficulty. Uh, B, objects flicker at a more constant rate. Objects flicker at only if necessary. Oh. Why would you want that... Oh, you want that on A for sure. Whoa. Why would you want them flickering all okay, the time? I guess some people to... don't want it yes. off and on. I'm going to keep it so it flickers only when necessary. Because it always looks better that way. Oh, she said I'm really digging this, the, the... RF interference? What's that? Does it, is it showing up? Yeah, I don't know what's... I did unplug my system recently. Let me see if I can fix that. What's what is uh what is that just for the the layman over here? Um, it is. Oh, I'm dead. Like oh, those lines? Yeah. Is not good. Oh my god, that's terrible. What is making that? No, it's not that. A Atari box. One of these cables. That's not good. No. If I plug this it. is a new difficulty challenge right here. <laughs> Playing while I'm adjusting things. It's not impossible. Okay, you guys are gonna have to deal with that for now. I think it's a bit better. Um. Oh god! Oh god! Come on. Yeah, there is a bit of RF interference right Whoa. now, um, causing some lines. So hopefully it's not atrocious. Oh, look at the two. Oh, that's terrible. That is brutal on this system. Apologies for the colors. Bonus round. Okay, Remember how I'm to really, do this? Uh, I have to like <laughs> jump. Oh god. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh, what is it? I've already screwed it up, right? It's <laughs> A little like bit. You basically... But you might be able to still make it. Nope, too early. Now you screwed it up. 
Like, um, what is it? It's like you have to, like, I don't know. You have to break through to go faster. And you have to do it at the right time, of course. Yeah, I'm not going to Oh, now this. you're going to fall through, unfortunately. Oh. I'm not seeing interference and is projected four feet high. We're definitely seeing the interference locally. Yeah. Um, so I'm guessing it's coming through as well on the Frame Meister. I've got, but... like, 16. Not bad. That's probably not. Gameplay. To make it harder to follow them, the cats have removed all the stairs from the mansions and what? replaced them with trampolines. That's crazy. It's like like when you're six years old and you plan your dream house and there's slides everywhere. That's right. And poles. And, and these... Macaulay Culkin's just there hanging out with you. Oh, you could have got him. You could have got him because he was hiding for oh bonus God. points. Oh, I don't know how about these bonus points. Yeah, that's I'm fun. learning. Ooh, that was close. Um, and so these these um, so these cats are like, yeah, we're gonna put trampolines everywhere. It's gonna be so much fun, man. Can you imagine trampolines in your house? Be like <laughs> life. Your life will forever be changed. <laughs> and we'll put crazy doors that, that. blast yeah. us if we accidentally open them on ourselves. Bam. Oh, okay, good I'm doing, stuff. I'm doing better. We're making to level five. <sighs> That's really good. I How remember. Many lives do you, have left? you still have a life. Um. I'm as, sort of... as Mappy gets to the end of a platform, he'll jump off it and fall down to the trampoline. Mappy cannot be oh. caught by a cat while bouncing on a trampoline or jumping off a platform. After Mappy bounces off a trampoline, move the joystick left or right to hop back on the platform or bounce against a wall. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's tough when they're right on you. Yeah, I kind of could have handled that better, I think. Oh, everybody's, everybody's... Most people are saying it looks okay. So okay, that's, that's, that's good. great news. Should I keep going? Oh, or John Shampoo to... is with us. Welcome. Hey, 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 John. Thanks for joining us. Hey. Oh, you got high score. The first one on the new cartridge. Yeah, we're trying out your uh, new game. Newly released game. Mappy. Solid fifth place. On boxed version of Mappy. 15960. Carolyn. See, now he's he's keeping track of A and J. Oh, dude. So it's so we know whose score is which. Sounds so legit. awesome. Super legit. Um, each time Mappy bounces off a trampoline, it will change color from green to blue to yellow to red. If Mappy tries to bounce off a red trampoline, it will break and Mappy will fall through. If there are no other trampolines below, he'll fall through to the basement and lose a life. Because apparently there's, you know, alligators or sharks in the basement. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. Yeah. Uh, hopping onto a platform will Come repair on, the yes. trampoline. On advanced levels, trampolines may only partially be repaired, giving Mappy less opportunity to jump on them before they break. Without any weapons at your disposal, disposal you'll have to use the cat's own layers. Layers against them? Snares. It says know. layers. That's funny. That makes sense. I would say traps or... Oh, God. From the doors on, rigged buddy. with parts from old microwave ovens. Oh, so it's radiation. That's cool. That's blasting you. That's what it is. That's some lore right there. Yes. It is John from the Super Champo Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, you're good. Oh, you're good. Oh, God. Okay. There you go. Bam. I'm going over here. Uh, Bam. Do, 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 do. Bam. Take that. To dangerously dangling bells. I don't think you made it to the bell uh, level yet. To trap doors in do the here. floors. I'll do this. You'll have to use all of your skill I'm starting to... to turn the oh, tables. Whoa! Okay, I should have died there. <laughs> you should have died there? Yeah. Oh, watch out. Yeah, there you go. Oh, back! Oh! Press the button to open or close the nearest door in front two. of Mappy. Doors open in the direction of the doorknob. Use the doors to knock the cats and stun them briefly. Be careful the doors can knock Mappy around too. Oh. You know you can open doors from a distance. He has telekinesis. Does he? Yeah, so you can open them. I can them just hit it and if, just be if, like... If you're on the same... And you can close doors, too, if you want to stop them from coming through. So if you go through a door, you can close it. There you go. Close that one. Oh. oh, I see. There you go. Radiation for the for the cats. Well, I would love to go get in... Uh, Zybot67 says, Wow, I would love to get in a DeLorean. DeLorean. Go back Correct. to 1982. Show this at CES. Yeah, they Whoa, would... Whoa, okay, I gotta do some shit, don't I? Yep. Yeah, it would just blow them away. They'd be like, uh, how? <laughs> like, what? They'd be, they'd be expecting, what like, the, that? um, the arcade, um, board somehow fitting right into the cartridge slot or something. I don't know what they, they would think of this. 
Um, on advanced levels, the direction of the door will reverse when it's closed, causing Mappy to rethink his strategy when using the Stop Cats pursuit. Opening a flashing door with it will emit a microwave James. in the direction of the door. Oh, almost! Oh! A lot better than last time. Oh. Down to the last one. It's probably better... Do I get only like a certain amount of jumps? How does that work? It's better to go for the big balloon. Oh, if I see. If you're right near the end. But how does it work? Is it Do you get like a limited number of jumps? No, or it's, it's um, time. It's time. There's a oh, song. Rough. It plays through twice. Activision would have hired John on the spot. Yes. Activision definitely would have hired John on the spot. That's for sure. Oh. oh, oh. What do you do? Nothing. You die. Not much you could have done. Rough. I shouldn't have backtracked. Keep pushing forward. Oh, John is thinking of actually getting a DeLorean and going back to 1982 and applying at Activision. That's a good plan, man. <laughs> That's a really good plan. Imagine doing that. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. you're dead again. That This level's really hard because of the length of the platform. It's rough, man. Because you, you can't even see what's on the other yeah, end. Yeah, you got to just... It's a leap of faith, man. Yeah, it is. So it's best the hole to... is closed. It's good to spin announced. Pole is closed. Okay, we'll take oh a look God. at that uh, between so the next one. There you go. Perfect. Oh, you got all three. Oh, my nice. God. No. Whoa, that's some um, advanced gaming. What is happening? I'm scared. <laughs> okay, bam, bam. Okay, hold on, hold on. You're good. doing good. Okay, one more to get. We're going over here. We're going over here. One more. Okay, there. go. Don't, I'm trying to figure don't out. Build up there. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, that was just Go. dumb luck. That was so lucky. That is like maybe it's skill. You're building up the I'm skill. I'm building up some. I'm building up some mappy instincts. Oh, can... John says avoid that middle platform at all costs. It's just too long. Not this level, but the last level. I appreciate the. Actually, that is literally a professional tip. It literally is. Yes. There's nothing. More. Oh, what? Um, yeah, this is a definite buy. Anybody who likes, you know, platformer games or action games, this is number one. Should shoot right to the top Dude, of the list. Dude, Tiki Dan says nice playing. I think it did better than last time. Nah, same same deal. Oh yeah, I did do better. Yeah, you bu you bumped it's yourself just out. The thing is, is it's just because of that that bonus round. Oh, you got I did. way better. I did Four thousand more, which is quite a lot. Oh, look at this. I'm I'm, I'm coming up on DGS. Who's that? <laughs> Uh, that would be... DGS. DGS. I was thinking it's Daryl, but it's not. Daryl, no. DGS. Yeah, yeah, DGS. Daryl Spy D... Oh. I don't know. I don't know who DGS, DGS. is. DGS. Uh, Thanks, we'll Arena. See. Okay, where am I at? Where am I at? Um, We're gonna you are more. at... I was not listening at all. Uh, right there. Right there. That some mansions have bells on each end of the top floor. If Mappy can hit a bell, it will uh, fall onto any cats directly beneath it, stunning them. Dude, this would have been good stuff to know. I'm just learning stuff. Okay, uh, some levels have flashing trap doors on the platforms while being pursued. Move over the trap door to open it oh, and drop the cat terrible. down to stun them. Be careful and let them fall through. Forgot that they can open door, or they were just wait. It was just waiting on the other side of the door. Yeah, Daryl Spice, Spice Jr. DG coming up on Daryl. Why does how does it stand? How's DGS Daryl something Spice? I guess his middle name is G. Must be. Maybe yeah. this is his handle. He kind of does his thing. Yeah, I don't know. Well, but that's his middle right. name, I bet, right? Yeah, yeah, it must be his middle name. Daryl Gary Spice. Yeah, we're gonna go with Gary until told otherwise. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, it got him. Did get him. No. Ooh. And then a time is of the essence. If Mappy right. lingers too long, reinforcements will arrive. I oh. didn't know that. Oh. Damn. Really? Like oh. overall time? No, hold this. It's like a, a warning to hurry up will appear and two right. more um, meow keys. Meow keys? Meow keys. Meow keys for sure. That sounds Japanese as all the Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, will enter the mansion. The cats will pursue Mappy even more aggressively, so watch out. After the hurry warning, if Mappy sticks around even longer, the uh, uh, Gozenzo coin will enter the mansion. And uh. the Gozenzo will pursue Mappy, but unlike the cats, Gozenzo can open flashing doors and open um, catch Mappy even in midair. Okay. Dude, there are 99 levels. That's too many. Will you be able to recover <laughs> all the loot? Uh, no, no, I will not. 
<laughs> that's that, way too no, much. No, that's not too much. That's crazy because that means that ah! if you wanted to keep going, you, you've got options. It's amazing. That's true. Like, you're not going to run out. Ah! Oh, wow. Too many. Too much of a buildup. That's the problem. They all coalesce. Yeah. If it's... you stay on one side too much. you got to learn how to train them almost, it seems. The scrolling is perfect. It's amazing. This is like amazing game. How you do it. That's how it's done. I'm, I've missed that many times. <laughs> Those, these jumps, I'm sort of slowly learning. Wow, James is knows practiced. What, James knows what's ah! up. Ah! I'll still get it though. I think you can do one thing wrong. I did like four things wrong, <laughs> and like I got most of them except for that final balloon. So. Well, we'll see how I do here. Damn. Just in time. You could do one tiny mistake. Johnny, Nathan, and I like the B flicker best. So it's constant flicker? I don't know. You're on A. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like it where... I guess I guess so it doesn't change as much. Let's see. So I guess it doesn't change. So it's, it's you know what you're expecting. Uh, come on, cats. Good time to have that. There was a, a cat on the other side, just, so it didn't really help right, too right. much. Oh, a little bit. Oh, got an extra life. Yay. Oh. Yeah, because Mappy will lose a life if he's caught by a cat. There's too many cats there. And Mappy will lose a life if he falls into a broken trampoline. Mappy will lose right. a life if he falls through a trap. Basically, you screw up, lives. Mappy dies. Yeah. Um, extra lives are earned at 20,000, 50,000, and every 50,000 after that. Dang. Less distracting equals constant. Yeah, that's true. Things aren't changing, so everything's the same. And it's not the flicker's not that bad, so it's it's very 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 tolerable. And this is just telling us about the bonus round. We already know. Oh, okay. The cats have set up some uh, some rooms with nothing but trampolines and balloons to hone their trampolining skills. <laughs> ah, so it's a practice room. That's kind of cool. I mean, I clearly need some practice. Uh, your goal in these rooms is to bounce through the maze and pop all of the balloons before the music ends. If Mappy breaks through a trampoline to the basement floor or he runs out of time, the bonus round is over. However, Mappy will not lose a life. Sick. Yeah, you just don't. Ah, bonus is bonus. Pop ah. the blue Goro balloon to set Goro free and earn extra points in later levels. Set Goro, Goro free. Goro will float up to the ceiling and may help you by popping some balloons. What? That's crazy. What? That's when you need some serious new lives. You need, you're, you're just rearing for that 50,000. Oh, this is hard. Do, 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 this is where do, do, we seriously do, do. step up the, yeah, the it's, challenge of Mappy. That's for sure. Oh, and you get some like score if you jump on a trampoline. Oh, God. A, Don't go on that middle one. Yep, it's that middle one, man. What are you at? You're on level six? Six. Yeah, that's and way I better than I've ever. had three lives. Had three lives, not anymore, of course. Oh, if you capture cats in a microwave, you get like a bunch of points. Capture them in? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, when you zap them. Yeah. But if you capture like one, two, three, it's pretty exponential actually. You can make it goes up see, for some serious points. Better and better. Yeah. Uh, okay. You start to get like a thousand. Level six done. Uh, does the manual list the order to collect the items for max score? Ooh, that's a good question. There are the items, and that's what they're worth. Um, ooh, almost distracted me about from the bonus, which I think is exactly the same. I now so. I will not make the mistake time see you shouldn't say things like that i'm just saying i know it's bad luck oh god i think i made a mistake there that's okay but i think it's pretty minor we shall see i might have to break through early listed in his book okay oh. yeah it doesn't seem to say here Oh, I went for it because I knew I was running out of time. Yeah. No, it doesn't say. It sort of gives which a list order. of things, but it doesn't necessarily say like an order that's best. Might be later. Because the safe is the worth the most, radio is worth the least. Goro balloon is worth two thousand, and if yeah. you pop all the red balloons and the Goro balloon, you get five thousand. So what does the bell do again? Oh, I think it. Because I've got it. I'm on a level with the bell, level eight. 
said before. Hold on. Let me find this bell. Okay, if Mappy can hit the bell, it will f it will fall onto any cats directly beneath it, stunning them. Okay. Oh my god, they're all long levels. I can't get across. Oh, that was lucky. Bam. Now I can complete the left side. There's too many cats. Whoa. Too many cats. Oh, well, now they don't want to come. Of course, they're all gathered on the other side. Wow, that was like... <laughs> oh, God, they're all jumping with me. Man, you could just bell this up, potentially. Whoa, I don't know I, what you do in that circumstance. I didn't want to break through the trampoline. How much yeah, I suppose it says I made a great bonk sound. Let's hear the bonk. Let's hear I suppose this bonk at some point. Duh. Oh, no. I don't know how I'm going to get across. I know what I'll do. I'll lure all the cats onto this side. Oh, oh there we go. Yay. At least I used the bell. It kind of stuns him in midair. That's weird. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's go. Whoop. I think I can make it across. Look at them all here. They're waiting for me. Faster. Here, Bonk perfect. Guys. Perfect time to do the bell. There we go. Oh, it doesn't affect the big cat. It Whoa. doesn't affect Goro. Is that Goro? That yes. must be Goro, man. It doesn't even affect him. He's too big. Level 9. Music's oh. great in this game. It is. Good job, gets, I suppose. It gets to. in your head that bit. That, that like that thing. I was gonna hum it, but I'm like, nah. <laughs> I'm on. I'm it. like streaming to lots of people. Humming is <laughs> this is not the time to hum a tune. No. As long as you collect the loot in pairs, I don't think oh, it's the yeah. order matters, points wise. Yeah, that's that's the guy. That's one of the guys who programmed it. So. Oh, I got kicked off the board. Oh, uh, sorry, man. <laughs> that's okay. That's what happens when you're fifth place, man. <laughs> ZPH. Oh, zero page homebrew. Zero page homebrew. That's smart. I think I could get to the top. I with think a, with a I, little bit more practice. I think you totally think could. I could. Because getting there, getting close. Scrolling's amazing. That's oh. a really good game. This is a really good game. So, um, we, is there anything more to do on? I think because we do have to get to. The next game, and also we gotta get some get high some scores, high scores yeah. as well. Unfortunately, I could play Mappy all day, <laughs> and we might have to at some point to try and beat that. Because this is score. a really cool game. Like this oh, is I, the first time I amazing. played Mappy, it was a nightmare because I had no <laughs> idea what was going on, and, and I barely did. And I watched James do it, and I was like, "Oh, this is." And now playing it a second time, it's like hanging out with an old friend. We, we <laughs> kind of I remember we, we, we you. got some topics. We know what's going on. We've got our common interests. You know, and then it's there's some fresh new things to learn. There's and this is I can't believe that this is like an Atari homebrew. Like, I know it's unreal. It's, like, this it's game one of the most just, advanced ones I've ever seen. It's like, so slick and clean, and the music, beautiful and, music, the scrolling, like horizontal scrolling, is one of the hardest things to do on a twenty six hundred because of the way it's ma um, the way it's made. Big things have to be drawn with something called the play field. Yeah, and the play field is four pixels wide at minimum. So it always has to do four chunks at once. But if you watch, it's a fast scroll. And if you do fast enough scrolls, um, you're fine. Like Super Cobra Arcade and Scramble that uh, Champ Games also did. Yeah. Um, it's also fast enough that you don't notice the scrolling as well. So that's the trick when you do playfield scrolling from left to right, is doing that just enough speed that it tricks the eye into to, to seeing that there isn't really a scroll yeah so we're going to move on now cool to an exclusive for zero page homebrew i love doing exclusives um this is an early early work in progress of uh champ of a champ games upcoming possibly i can't even say for sure that he will be doing this but it's a very strong possibility um, it is elevator action. Wow. Now, there was an elevator action planned for the 2600 um, before the crash. Um, and it got completed to a point. Um, let me just look up my notes for this. Uh, tch, 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 tch. Yeah, elevator action is an unreleased prototype that is about 95% complete. I'm talking about the old one. 
Um, and that was from uh, 1982, I think. Let's pop it in right now so I can know the exact date. Um, so it was a work in progress. Uh, ah. Let me just load it up here. Ooh, elevated action. Uh, oh, it's not showing me. 1983, and that's when between 83 and 84 is when the the video game crash happened. Thanks to uh... thanks to oversaturation of the market of terrible games for cheap, cheap terrible games, which bottomed out the prices because all the parents at Christmas bought the five dollar games because it was oversaturated. All the bargain games and they were just not good. There was just no money left in uh, in in the system for making big games and all. All the investments that all the big um, companies made, uh, they lost lost their wow. shirt in it. And but wasn't there that like ET game that that that's blamed on it? That's but that is it's part not of the... really part of it, but it gets blamed a lot because it was rushed, um, rushed for the Christmas to to get sold. It's kind of part of it because of people associated because it was a bad looking game, bad. And, and hard to play. Yeah, weird game. It's kind of weird, and if you didn't have the instruction manual, it was very difficult to play. It's an actually a pretty decent adventure game where you have to collect pieces and complete a puzzle, and it's finishable. Um, but because a lot of people didn't read instructions, and they're just like, I'm going to play the shooter, and, and they were like, what the well, hell tough, is going on? Well, it's tough, because I imagine, like, you know, E.T. is for kids, you know? Like, a yes. bunch, bunch of kids pick up, they're like, they're like I'm going to play E.T., I'm going to I'm gonna ride bicycles, and, and, and like, Reese's fly. Pieces and, 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 <laughs> yeah, and then they're like, what? So, I got to collect. I got to collect phone pieces and in pits that I keep falling into. There was some playability issues. XYBot67 says, I got E.T. for Christmas, and I actually enjoyed it. It, it is a, fu it's a fine game. It's a good adventure game, but you have to read the instructions you can't just you pick can't. it up and it's play. a certain kind of kid i guess yeah um it says it's 95 percent complete there are some issues with collision detection but overall it's quite playable at classic gaming expo 2001 uh, released elevator action in atari spot uh, it says it's actually around 50 percent done does that mean oh his his cool his is 50 percent done i'm talking about the prototype ah yes cool good clarification um yes uh, about 200 copies of the games were available at the show and they were sold out by the day's end. Now I tried to load on... Let me just flick over. Ah, he said, no, I meant the prototype. Oh, the prototype? Cool. Oh, okay. So I tried to load the prototype on um, the system and it didn't work the first time I tried it. So we're going to try again. It just totally crashed. They said, they said it's oh, it did like, work. He said it's 95%, but it's not playable. Okay, so it's not fine. playable. Let's okay, see what happens. Do I just hit like the thing? This person in the Atari Age database says it is quite playable. So we'll uh, we'll be the judge of that. Let's see. And, so um, this was. Um, and Arena Foot's also saying that the game options were backwards for ET. The oh, game three was the easiest. Game one was the hardest. Oh and the default God. was game one. That's a problem. It's an issue. That's a problem. So this is the prototype. This is not Champ Games version. Cool. So this was put out in not put out in '83. So go for it, and we'll just take. Oh, you have to use the old school buttons. They had. They used these. Oh, no, it did work. Yeah, this is not. It's weird and not playable. <laughs> I played it earlier Infinite today. Infinite jump. Okay, bam. It's a floaty. What floaty is happening? Guy. I'm shooting something. And you're okay. scrolling and drifting. My screen. And... Okay. Whoa. So this like. Oh. Okay. Move to the right. Now get on the elevator when it gets up. Wait. Okay. Get like on the elevator. elevator. I guess there that's why it's called elevator action. Yeah. You're moving on an elevator. Oh, now you can move. You can control the elevator. Oh, cool. I thought I was just hanging out waiting no, for it. I oh, was go like... back up. There's your dudes to shoot. Bam, there you go. That. Bam. Oh, it's, that. it's somewhat complete. You ready? Oh, no collision detection. Bam. Take well, there's that. There's collision detection between your Bam, bullet take and the that. bad okay, guy. Okay, so I just shoot these guys until. until oh, you shot done. the light out. Whoa. So that's now cool. it's dark. That's kind of cool. Bam. Um, take that. So this was originally a, I an just arc. shoot people? Yeah. Oh, no, I died. There's collision detection. It works. Come on, elevator. Okay, so I just hang out until I and die. You, and you'll have to duck from bullets okay. so this was originally an 1983 arcade game by taito taito oh, God. taito taito uh it's a mix of platform and shooters 
And it did it come though? out for C64, it's not a platform NES, swing from my Game Boy, elevator. MSX, ZX Spectrum, uh, up to two players alternating. Like, Whoa. The Damn. player assumes the role Damn. of a spy infiltrating Damn. a 30-story building filled with elevators. The player... 30 stories. So oh, there's no keep... numbers on the side on this one, so you don't know. You'd have to keep track yourself. Oh, so what's this red thing? Anybody know? Oh, that's a door you have to go Damn. in and collect um, papers. Let's and... go do this. Oh, no. Oh. And I lost my elevator. Oh, now you have to go wait and defend your... Now you can go down the stairs, maybe. Maybe. Oh, oh there you cool. go. Elevators. Uh, those agents oh, must be dealt God. with force or evasion. Successful completion of a level involves collecting all the secret documents. Man. All of them. Oh, so you do have to go in those doors. Okay, and the documents are in the doors? And traversing uh, the building from top to bottom. In the lower floors of the building, the elevator system can be complex enough that puzzle-solving skills are needed. I'm dodging these bullets. The controls consist of a four-way joystick and two buttons, one to shoot and the other for jumping and kicking. Kicking? Oh. Jumping, no, kicking. kicking, shooting. Look, if I just hang out like this, they can never kill me. So it's not, it's not bad. It's not great for the era, but it's not bad. Oh, I can um, even. I can because move. the the enemies are all one Don't color, shoot me. which is like eh, you're two, you're Damn. a bunch of colors, which is good. Um, the elevators move nicely. Oh, the no. play field is very bland. Dodge. It's all purple, right? Yeah. And there's some. The levels are black or aqua, so it's like eh, eh, it's fairly bland. I really want my elevator back. You can hold up infinitely and not die when they shoot you. Arena Foot says. But you can't also you can also not shoot them. So you come down shooting at Ah, oh, I'm on my elevator. No, you have to go down the stairs now. To go down the um you have oh. to get to the basement. Okay. So this is the prototype that was not released um in nineteen eighty three. Um Bam. and subsequently put onto cartridge. Because a lot of prototypes oh, no. get put onto cartridge. So that's not Okay. Because that's not what we're here for. We're not here for prototype here elevator for action. We're here for homebrew. We're here man. for real elevator action. I'm ready to go. So this one is by Champ Games by John Champo, who's in the chat, Johnny WC23. Um, this is a build from February of last year, 2017. Now, before you start it up, okay. I'm going to read the history of how this came about. Um, on October 1st, 2001. There was a thread called Most Disappointing Cancelled Games. Yes. Um, started by Jess, Jess Reagan. Um, and, John, and John Champeau posted um, three days later saying his most disappointing cancelled game was Elevator Action. And he said, I purchased one of the copies at CGE, expecting, expecting a 95% completed version. But unfortunately, it's more like 80% done, like he said up there. Um, yeah. Uh, a complete playable version of that would have been awesome. So way back, what, 17 years ago, John was like, hmm. He was thinking. He's thinking about it. It's amazing. Like, His hmm. the seeds get planted, right? Yep, they do. Um, so I was able to dig that up and find his the first mention of him in Elevator Action. And then there was another thread called was elevator action ever finished and that was in 2014 september started by gurner and it says the prototype's pretty cool why wasn't it finished looks like it was mostly done um somebody said i agree the prototype shows a lot of potential um somebody said elevator action is one of those you got to play it you will love it there may be a later version, but it's only it's the only one that surfaced. Uh, Port of MSX was horrible. Yeah, there's no sound in that one, right? Yeah. So the sound wasn't done. The took, graphics are a little took a little bit sketchy. of energy too to sort of figure out what was going on. As well. Oh, and Nathan Strum also did the oh, graphics Nathan. for this. So Nathan again is the man with the graphics plan. He's really really good at graphics. He does a lot of graphics for some of the, a lot of the bigger games. Oh, like what games, man? It's just like I supposed to does the the music and sound effects for a lot of the biggest games. It's a big team. It's they're not all like under a banner. They all kind of cooperate That's... together. And Daryl Spice Jr. helps out with a lot of code with people. And you know they all. It's a collaborative effort. It's it's really it's really like nice. It's like a little team of people. It's That's amazing. Right. Um, <laughs> Thomas Yentz. Happy for Atari is actually a lot better. 
Then you have, oh, that's bad. Um, What's MSX? Um, that was a kind of a computer system that was pretty popular for games because it was very powerful. But it was mostly popular in Japan. I think they only came out in Japan. Doesn't surprise me though, man, because it's like with a lot of these things, it's just if it's just a job, you just get it done. Versus for for everyone here, this is a passion. You it know, is. you're refining and you're working. I mean, that's it's that it's those extra hours after you think you're done <laughs> that yes. really make the difference. I think. Yeah, Thomas. People. Thomas Yance said, "Oh, it's on my to do. My to do list is too long to do this." Makes sense. Um, and then Johnny, uh, John, Johnny W C. Um, John Champeau says, Dennis DeBro and I spent some time about eight years ago looking into finishing Elevator Action. This is him saying it in 2014. Yeah. So that would have been in uh, 2000, uh, 2006 he was looking into it. Uh, Dennis spent a lot of time disassembling the 8K game and had about 60% of it labeled. I tried to fix a few things but didn't get far. The game itself shows a lot of promise, but it's more like 70% done instead of the advertised 95% yeah. done. It had no sound, one level, no difficulty ramping. Your man can't fall or get crushed by the elevator. Many glitches in moving. As we saw, you can hover forever, <laughs> levitate. <laughs> Enemies are restricted to one floor. They don't ride the escalators or the elevators. Be nice if the end of the building had multiple elevators to ride, similar to the arcade. The escape car at the end would be cool. Uh, the intro sequence when the, when the guy climbs a rope on the roof would be cool. So it's missing a ton from the arcade. I've only gotten through a few levels in the arcade, so I'm not sure if there are other obstacles that come along in the game progress. Overall, I see at least a few months of work to get it playable. <laughs> well, when was this? 2014. But John Champo worked super fast when he when he's on a game. When he decides. A few it's... months uh, to get it up to like 90% working. He says, who knows, maybe someday. Ooh. That was 2014. Ooh. Now, let's skip ahead. Four years later. Cut to. Cut to. Four years later. Zero Page Homebrew was born. So, he um, contacted me saying, hey, I've got an elevator action. Would you like to show it on the show? And I said, hell yeah, John. <laughs> of course I do want to show it on the show. Um, he said, here's the latest elevator action ROM from February 23rd, 2017. So, a year and a half ago. This is about five weeks of worth, uh, work. I started on January 16th, 2017. So within a very short amount of time, he got this going. Um, so it's not too far along. It started off as a proof of concept, mostly so I could get it up to speed on the bus technology and prove that I could make a game as envisioned. Now, I'm here to let you know that this game and maybe one or two kind of proof of concept games have been made using um, bus technology on the Atari 2600. So this is pushing the limits of what can be done with a 2600. This is, this, I've, I have another, there's another one by Daryl Spice Jr., an RPG-ish start. Yeah. So we're gonna do an, a full show on bus stuffing uh, coming up I love it. in the future, showing off what this new technology can do. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, do, 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 so I could get up to bus technology. Prove I can make the game as I envision with multiple color changes per line for the doors, elevators, and mid-kernel sprite repositioning. This features title animation and graphic. So you can load it up now. <laughs> Here we got people outside coughing. There we go. A little bit better animation intro there. Elevator action. Um, title animation and graphic. I would mostly... Oh, Whoa, look at dude. that. He ropes in, just like the arcade. And look at the graphics. Pops a little bit lighter than purple. And he's got actual lights. You've got levels. Take a oh, look at okay, that. I shouldn't know. Desert that. bus technology, yes. Well, so what <laughs> happens if I... Uh, yeah, it's, okay. it's, not, it's, it's an early works, it's okay. but I'm going to list okay. out what we've got so far. You well, can't... I can't shoot when I'm ducked. Right. Nor when I jump. But you can shoot normally, right? Yeah. yeah, that's smart. And the bullets have multiple colors, too, so it looks nice. So you'll have to wait for the um, levels to come back up. Oh, oh, look at this. I can just permanently dock. That's really nice. As you should. Was it a one thing? Before? Yeah, I had to hold uh, it down. It's nice. I can just... Oh, okay. Only thing is, is if you miss this elevator, it's... Uh... <laughs> you can't fall down the shaft. But it'll come back. I'll so, come back. So he's got the title animation and graphic. I would mostly oh, likely... Dude, look at these numbers. Like 30, 29, yep. 28, so we know what's up. 
Yep. Know what level you're at and how far down. I like you that need it's inverted too, because if if it were one, two, three, because we're at the top of the yes. building, so it's it neat. makes we sense. No, like a normal building, you know how many you're counting down to. So Nathan Strum listed out all his games that he did uh, graphics for, and that's quite a list, dude. So a lot of those are Champ games and uh, Spiceware. Daryl Spice Jr. Is back. But a lot of them are too. Elephant. And smothers that are escaping me at the moment. And okay, I am not. Zybot leaving. says you're just showing off. Yep. Yeah, cool. Yeah, everything is amazing in this. Um, I would most likely choose different colors for the action graphic as the current colors flicker way too much. They were chosen based on the colors in the arcade graphic. Game intro animation. A wire is fired into the roof of the building and the player starts climbing down to the rooftop, enters the top elevator, at which time the game starts. So, which is super awesome. Okay. That normally you would go in that door, but I don't think that's active it's there yet. yet. Okay, but I'm on the basement now. Hey, look at that. That's nice. scrolling nice. and you little... you go in behind it. Very nice. Oh, cool. So now I got now I got to catch a different elevator. So, when in an elevator, press the joystick up or down to move the elevator up and down. When on a platform, press left or right to walk left or right. Press down to duck, press up to jump to avoid incoming enemy fire. Not implemented yet. Oh. You can also press There's a little interesting little bug. Oh, yeah, yeah. I ducked while we were there. That's okay though. Oh. While you're on the elevator? Yeah, and then the elevator it didn't. Went without you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see if oh, it changes. Something. No, this one's just... Uh, oh, not quite That's functioning. okay. I got to just okay. do it this way. It's no gotta problem. Use, use the escalator. You still don't have to walk I down. I still know what's going on. You're oh, going to have to definitely use it now. Uh, button. Bullets will be able to shoot lights eventually, then fall onto enemies or shoot enemies directly. Um, press the fire button to fire bullet in the direction you're facing. No collision detection yet. Object is to make your way down to the basement and jump into the escape car and head to the next mission. Look at this. So we got this no, no. red thing that I run and grab, yeah, right? That's right. And then, the and then you have to wait. Are. And then here and now I go into this level. So it's getting harder. Yeah. It's really cool. So there's multiple elevators and oh, kind of a this. maze of elevators so, now. So this one, it appears to be I can take the ride the whole time on this one, or, or I can pop off, grab that one. Yes. And obviously, if I'm fighting people, you're gonna have to the, defend them too. Strategy. Also, it looks like I can't like rapid fire. Like I've got to wait till my thing goes. Yeah, and I be, I'm pretty sure the arcade was like that too. Yeah. A so lot look of old... at this. So if I go down, I can just keep going down. Possibly that might. No, you can keep going down. This one keeps going down, but For then I, at a certain point, I gotta hop. And on. you would have had to get off to get those red doors. Totally. And defend okay, yourself. And this now, one, now you have to change. So then, like, now I can go here, and now this one is the main yeah. ride. Uh, uh, additionally, the object is to collect the secret plans hidden in the red doors scattered yeah. throughout the building. Enemies enter the level through the blue doors, not implemented yet. Move or jump into an elevator when it's on the same floor to enter it. Elevators not occupied by you in move independently. Enemies can ride and control elevators as well. Look at this. Not implemented. Look at this. There's like only so many options now. Wow. Right? Yeah, which one? It's getting complicated. And normally you'd have to you wouldn't be able to walk across. No. So you'd have to get on that elevator to get across to the other elevators. And make your choice. And make your the so proper like choice. Here. Maybe that's the wrong one and it doesn't get you down far and enough. And then you can start to learn the pattern, right? So yep. this one here like um goes down. Uh where are are we on some floors there are escalators to use an escalator move the player to the control point marked by a red dash on the floor press up to ride an escalator up press down to ride it down anyway i would estimate this is about 20 percent done and i stopped once the bus issues were reported and al basically said rightfully so that he could not in good faith release a game that had known incompatibilities uh, with some 2600 Junior and 7800 models. So that is why there has been no bus games released. Yeah. And this is a bus game because it doesn't work with all of these Atari Juniors. Only some of them. And um, Daryl Spice Jr. did a survey of all the different types of Atari 2600 compatible systems. And he surveyed 73 different systems. And out of all 73, there were four 2600 NTSC juniors that did work. Um, just the plain juniors, not the junior rainbow. And there were, tw there were four NTSC juniors that didn't work. That was the biggest problem. 
was were those systems and one PAL 7800 uh, there were a bunch there was all the NTC NTSC 7800s passed um, some of the NTC NTSC juniors did some didn't everything else passed but it was not a not a massive survey but it was a pretty decent survey enough to know that it did not um, completely work on every system so you you finished the game i did congratulations dude, this is crazy this is cool like the level ramp is really neat because i don't know if you were checking it out but no. like there's there's all these options so i'd have to like get this red thing you can see like you'd have to get across somehow you see right? like here this guy would be one thing this would be another and you like, have to get across two elevators that's right to get to and that. you have to make while a choice people, while right? people are shooting at you correct at the same time and then the other issue like is um see you, can you could only, be stuck there and just wait and, and you have, have to, to be like, ducking shoot. and shooting Thing. and then like and you got to get this red thing and yes. you don't and especially on the first time you don't know which one is the one that's going to like necessarily take you and, I'm, and it's going to be random i'm almost certain which doors are going to be red otherwise you know the exact pattern that's every right time. and so then now the thing is is like you got to somehow like navigate this crazy system like look here pop on here maybe i grab it yeah then i then i like then come down you can't you can control that or not no i can't can you press down no, you're... these are these are on their own life, oh, right? So the thing that's neat okay. is some like, do, some don't. See now, these are going down, so oh, I can like hop just, down. You just barely made it into that. And then see, this goes head. down. So now I'm in the middle one, which is like good because yes. the middle one is the bottom one. But you don't necessarily know that. You right? don't know that. So you might come Unless down this, this other one, and then you might miss the stop, and then you gotta like pop over. Who knows what yeah. the red ones are? So yeah, this is a cool game. So what? Um... What John Champo is working on is that he is working on porting it over to this new system of carts, the Uno cart. Yeah. Um, which I am still working with one of the developers of the Uno cart to get it working on my RGB system. Because as of right now, it does not work on our RGB uh, modded systems. It does work on my uh, uh, 2600 Junior, um, but uh, he should be able to get this working fairly soon because i want to demo his game which will be the first ever uno specific cool. game and also this game does not work on the computer it only really? works only works on the harmony cart um because uh, this game only works in the harmony the original bus driver that uses is no longer supported by stella it works on a specific build of Stella that was never released. Daryl updated the bus driver that is supported by Stella, but he needed he would need to modify the code to get it working. Um, but he got sidetracked, so most likely it will not. It will just be started probably on the Uno, from what this is saying. Um, so hopefully he can release this one day um, because it's one of his favorite games. Um, so this is a really obviously a very early work in in progress. Um, so it is far, far from done, but it's like proof of concept. It totally, oh, it's crazy. Totally this works. is going to be an awesome game. Yeah. Um, and you played the other one with the enemies. So you kind of get, I, get a, I can piece sense, this whole thing together now, a sense of what it would be like finished. Um, so what bus stuffing is to give you a really quick overview, I'm going to open up Daryl Spice Jr.'s um talk that he gives at uh, conventions to what um the advantages of and what it is if you hold with me for a second i'm just i'm going back upstairs sure oh, did i copy it that's the plan i'm going back to the top uh, what it is it's a really f oh. fast way of sending information uh, graphical information to the 2600. Let me see if I can find it in his notes. Harmony, Batari, Basic. Oh no, I guess I'm now oh, down. Coprocessor, DPC. So, there have been many iterations of how to display graphics on the 2600. The first one was just straight um, code residing on the the system out of yeah. the cartridge running completely on the system and then then there was a D, then dpc uh made by david crane stands for his name Dara, uh, david 
can't remember his middle name, David P. Crane, DPC. And it was a coprocessor on um, the cartridge that uh, sped up the execution of code so it would be able to send it to the TIA, which is the graphic processor on the Atari, so that the Atari wouldn't have to do, spend its time doing calculations and moving um, data around. So it could do it. Uh, Daryl uh, covered bus stuffing at uh, HAAG Saturday. Excellent. Yeah, he has a whole, um, that's what I'm looking over right now, is actually his, his speech that he gives. Then there was a DPC Plus that's contained in this cartridge, which is another implementation that um, is, is faster for getting the graphics. Uh, here we go. DPC Plus, 8K ROM, da da da. Data fetchers greatly speeds up player processing and also provides better audio as well. That's a big deal. It is. Uh, DPC Plus, fast fetch mode for even faster data fetching. Um, can offload non kernel processing to a 70 megahertz chip. And then bus stuffing um, was actually created back in the day for a keyboard add on for the 2600. So you can do um, um, typing on the 2600. Wow. Um, processors in the keyboard overdrove the data bus for fastest um, possible. graphical updating pos po possible. I guess updates. for you typing, right? Yeah. Um, so he outlines how long things take on this uh, chart. So you only have so much time when you're drawing a line or graphics on the screen. And you have to go back and forth between drawing them and you have to draw them at the right time and how long it takes to draw them. And everybody out there can't see this, but the bus stuffing is like unbelievably faster than anything else like you have so much more time to do let's see if i can find a graph here i can't but it, it's like by default you have this much room and you can only do so many colors on a line and so many objects and changing colors then the dpc you could do that much more plus sound dpc plus you could do that much more and then with bus stuffing, you can. It only takes that much time to do everything you ever wanted, um, and then you can do more of it and do actual more calculations on the same line as well. So what you're saying is this opens up so many possibilities for coding. Whole new and, realm. And like the idea, I guess, is like when you normally play, when it was, people are normally coding, they just kind of have to work around a lot of crazy kind of quirks of the Atari. They have to keep it in mind when they're making the game. What are the capabilities of the 2600? Like, I remember there's lots of things you talk about sometimes, like when we go down, like, for example, in, like, stacks, when I went down, I was the same line as, like, one enemy. I yes. would, like, flash. And there would be colored, the ladders would get colored. Yeah. Or something. It's because there was not enough time between you and drawing that thing to change the color. And so with bus stuffing, there's plenty of time. And so you're so able to, everything like... is a different color all the way across the screen because there's so much time for doing it. And Splendid Nut, who is making Chaotic Grill, which is the Burger Time port, he says, Fast Fetch is great, makes burgers in Chaotic Grill possible because he has a bunch of burger pieces across the yeah. screen, right? But they're all different colors. So that's how he's able to take advantage of these faster processors um, to get those different colors. Um, the machines that fail forcing a value into FF high work when forcing a value to low or sometimes parts of both. Now, what I thought to solve and work around this issue, because there are ways to make the broken ones work, but it's inelegant. Yeah. Because one, some work one way, some work with the, the other way, is to have in the menu the default is like, oh, 99% of all systems will work here. And then, like, oh, if it doesn't work, you can select this other option. Yeah. But that's which so is... inelegant. And it's like, oh, it's not working. You have to put it in the manual. Oh, some systems don't work properly. Please select this checkbox if your system is not working properly. Now, you could get around that if you could auto sense somehow. Yeah. If the system is working, but I don't know if there's any feedback that you could get from a non-working system and i oh we already implemented auto detect and correct there we go 
it, it solved Bam. them. Zach Scalero, who is the guy I'm working with, um, Zach, with the 2600 Uno cart. Now, he may be referring to programming on the Uno cart, not the Harmony cart. So if he's already got an auto detect and correct working on the Uno cart, that's an avenue for programmers to do to work on the Uno, and f and move forward, programming there with the bus stuffing. So the future is exciting. This is very great exciting, news, man. This it is, is crazy. This is really it's very expensive though, which is why the need for Uno, A very very expensive um, timing wise. You mean? programming timing wise wouldn't you have to only auto detect once and then correct it, it so I, i'm guessing why that's why you are saying it's on the uno i don't know maybe you can elaborate on that i'm ram and cpu cycles expensive but wouldn't you only have to detect it once and then you're done and then you can say um implement the program this way from now on and don't do it the way that doesn't work <clears throat> or does it change all the time like oh it doesn't it fails sometimes and doesn't fail all the time you have to keep checking depends on the value it's stuffing you have to figure out which 6502 instruction to execute oh so it's based on which value is stuffing not it always works or always doesn't wow okay and in conjunction with this um there is a piece of news that i accidentally missed that there is a huge price drop on Harmony carts. Um, they used to be like $90 um, for the Encore, and now they're down to $59. Wow, that's a big deal. Yeah, so the Harmony is now $39 as US, and the Encore is $59. He said, uh, Batari posted uh, about a week ago, he said, due to recent competition, I'm guessing this. <laughs> he didn't say, but that's the only competition yeah, I can think of. Yeah, that's probably... Uh, that does the same thing. That feels right. It does. Due to recent competition, and that I have a lot of parts sitting around that were already paid for, and people have essentially stopped buying Harmony carts, I think it's time to lower the price and change the pricing structure. Uh, the new price for Harmony will be $39. The new price for the Encore will be 59 for this price, you get a bare board and a label. Ah, uh, it's only for bare boards. So you have to supply your own um, carts and obviously cut out pieces as well. Uh, you, supply, you supply your own cartridge casing and cut the slots for it for the USB and SD cards. So um, he's making it cheaper, but you have to do a little bit of work. So uh, That's a good trade-off. If you'd like your cart, put in a cart in case a cartridge case add ten dollars to the price okay so it's still cheaper though so it's only ten dollars more above that you may order a printed manual for a dollar a color manual for six uh i think i'd go for the black and white yeah <laughs> save I think five so bucks too. or a usb cable for four dollars uh you can purchase an sdhc card with some homebrews oh that's cool preloaded with homebrews uh harmony software drivers as were formerly available in the deluxe version for twelve dollars the order pages will reflect this change soon, and they have changed. Uh, this offers for a limited time. While supplies last, I have enough to make a few hundred carts, I think. While supplies are exhausted, there will be a time to release the source for Harmony, and I will decide if I want to make more. So give me some more time, blah, 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 uh, the order page and everything. So if you want to buy a Harmony cart, now is the time, because there are going to be no more very soon, possibly, <laughs> most likely. Or you can get an Uno cart, but things that work on the Harmony don't work on the Uno. So, and things that work on the Uno don't work on the Harmony. So you kind of have to pick your world you're going to straddle, or, you can get or, both. or get both. So it's there like, you it's go. Like, do you like Pepsi or Coke? Just give me both. <laughs> just, just bring just on a, both. Just one hand Pepsi, one hand Coke. I know I'm going to need another drink anyway. So just do it. <laughs> <laughs> so. That is the amazing elevator action um, by cool Champ game. Games. It is. It is very cool. I've definitely uh, used up the the, the, <laughs> the abilities of what's of, going of, on yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. And um, and we're going to, and I'm going to be releasing the um, interview I did with John Shampo either tomorrow or Friday. So keep an eye on that out for that. It'll definitely be on YouTube. 
and I think I can upload it on Twitch as well. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, so it was a good half hour interview where we talk about so much stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, and he told me about a lot of games that he's going to be releasing or working on soon, but they're all still secret. There you so, go. so you got some exclusive <laughs> secret. Yeah, but they're not in. They're not page. in the interview. Yeah, but I know. yeah, but, the, but, but they're very, very exciting for me. Very, very exciting. These I feel upcoming like games. this is the reward for you doing the show. Is you get to kind of <laughs> no first. Yeah. yeah. Well, know. the reward is playing the games. Really, well, definitely. That's the exciting part, and being able to show all these people. Uh, these amazing games that are coming up and the and the work that these people are doing the amazing and work. a place for people to kind of come and hang out and do yeah. something like this it's you nice know? it's nice to have a central hub where you know that's where you're going to see the new games that's yeah. where you're going to be able to get the previews i've had like um I'm, i work at the university and there's some writers like some thinkers i really want to like talk to people about and it's amazing i can't seem to find anybody at the university who even knows these people so it's <laughs> funny you know like you get an interest right and it's really hard because you you want to be able to talk to people and connect about this thing you love but yes it's oh, sometimes it's, it's hard to find people who will be able to do it you know yeah this collective this gathering point it's yeah. it's nice that there's a spot where everybody comes together like the Atari Age forums. That's right, and their passion is this thing, you know, and that's where and that's the tough thing is is like when you get interest sometimes, you know, there's not everybody is into it. And so yeah. you get to kinda like have a place where you come hang out and talk about the thing you like, which is great. It is. It is wonderful. It's amazing. Okay. And to get the feedback Instant. and to talk with the, the developers right here in and the hopefully chat you guys or enjoy. in person. I just want to say, man, like, John, uh, since you're here, this looks great, man. I'm super stoked to play this. Like, I was and kind of made it in five around. weeks. You made it in five weeks. <laughs> and it's like, a fully playable first level. It's going to be amazing, like, getting, like, um, some enemies in there and also multiple levels and swinging in through the top. I mean, yeah. and comparing the two, I can imagine what this is going to be. I cannot wait to play this game, dude. And, Just, I mean, looking at Mappy. Oh, it's insane. Knowing, knowing that that level of programming and expertise is and going to be going. And specificity and care. Be, yeah. And so I, I talked with John Champo about Mappy. Yeah. So we talked a lot about Mappy. We also talked a lot about Wizard of War as well, his, his upcoming game. That's coming out next year. Which one should I do? The top one. Um, that is the top one. Cool. So we're gonna move on to Seaweed Assault, and we are playing this as part of the homebrew tournament round number five. Yes. We're gonna see if we can get some high scores going. Did I did I get to do the last one or did I miss the last no, one? No, I think you were. I think I missed the last one. Were you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> is it, I'm a plane. Oh. No, it's demo. I think. Okay. So uh, here we go. Seaweed Shoot Assault this stuff. I shoot seaweed. And this is by Dwayne Allen Hahn. So I will read the instructions, but you, oh, thank you can mess around for a bit. Um, so there's five, only five people on the leaderboard right now. So there's lots of room for points. Okay, so if I literally, the first round, then, whoa, it's no. So oh, God. Uh, John says EA is one of my all time favorites. I have the CDF, CDF of Elevator Action. That I started a couple years ago. So if things don't work out with the bus version, there's always the CDF. Yes, that's right. So I'm guessing you'll, John, you'll probably get to an Uno cart and uh, start messing around with that and uh, see how programming for that is. Um, and John says, Zach, uh, now that Mappy is released, hopefully I'll have some time and I can, we can see about porting. Um, uh, Elevator action to the Uno oh, cart no. and your bus stump duffing oh, framework. God. So this is see this is amazing. John Champo is talking to the guy in the chat that oh. is working on the bus stuffing for the Uno cart. That's insane. So it's a great, amazing gathering point that all these people are here, and you know you make your connections together. Oh, I'm gonna get that thing. Oh, oh, CDF. That stands for it's people's names. I think. What's the score I that remember. I gotta get? Like bazillion? Yeah, it's pretty bazillion-y. Um, so the top score is eight thousand eight hundred and thirty-five. Jesus Christ! So you only have to get a hundred times Whoa. more than that. <laughs> okay, so I'm at a hundred. There it is. CDW, Daryl Spice oh Jr. and uh, Fred. Is yeah. that the death screen? That looks like a death screen. Yeah, red is death. Okay. Yellow's pain. Red is death. That's right. <laughs> 
What is that? What's that movie? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's a uh, it's a prison prison movie where the prison's a big round prison, and the guards are in the center, watching everyone. I haven't seen that. And they get implanted with explosive devices, and if they go across a certain line, they get a massive amount of pain. And if they go across the red line, they they explode and die. So it's like it, it's just an open kind of prison. So you don't have to have. I haven't seen this movie. This sounds crazy. Is this it the is. '80s? Yeah, it's totally. Uh, 80s. I was just feeling like I'm like. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't seen it. Chris Walton. There we Whoa. Go. Fred equals Batari. Yeah. All these I gotta code kill names. these guys. I think. I think that's the seaweed. So let's get into. Uh, so far, I am. The manual. I'm eating stuff. You're doing better. Stuff. Than last time, I think. Yeah. I'm eating stuff. I'm shooting stuff. But you can eat it too. Yeah, you can eat this. You can get like, some extra. Oh, health. I don't think so. Oh God. You just got breaded. That's okay. Um. Okay. Seaweed assault. See, look at this. Yeah, you can eat that. Yes, yeah. but don't eat that. You don't got. This you got hurted. Oh, oh God. Don't run into that. I'm gonna blast. This. Uh. So this is for sale at the Atari Age store, but we have it on ROM. Story, your name is Captain Naled Modnar. Yes, wow. of course. Which backwards, that's obviously backwards, because it sounds backwards. Random Dalan. Dalan? Weird. Random Dalan. Uh, and you're part of an advanced underwater civilization. It's your duty to patrol your section of the ocean in semi-organic submarine called the Manatee. Highly aggressive. Semi-organic. This is cool. I just thought it was like a frog running around. Clearly not. <laughs> no, no, you're in a ship. Uh, you're in a submarine. Semi-organic submarine. Yeah, you can see it kind of swimming. Whoa. Oh my god. Um, highly aggressive seaweed surrounds you and keeps trying to replicate faster than you can shoot. Use your torpedoes to blast any bits of seaweed that appear Whoa. before they clog up your sector and spread to others, making it nearly impossible for anyone to travel. Don't let the seaweed strangle your civilization to extinction. Starting and restarting, pressing oh, a button, sky, right or left hand game, play Can't manatee movement. The manatee is capable of full eight directional movement, up, down, left, right, and diagonally. The fire button can either be pressed and released for each torpedo or held down for auto fire. Uh, t -t 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 there is no rapid fire because a string of torpedoes would have an explosive chain reaction and destroy the manatee. That's a good way to excuse. I don't think you I, can kill that. I think it, I think I, you just angered it. And when I shoot it, it <laughs> seems to hurt me. Yeah, I got really so upset. So I feel like I'm just... First time. Hey, S. S. Ramirez, 2008. Welcome. Hey, dude. First time. We're Welcome. hanging out, playing some seaweed shooting alien biochemical. <laughs> don't shoot him. Just run away. There you go. See, it got it got really fast when you shot it. Uh, oh, God. The manatee is a semi-organic submarine that moves by using two flippers in the back that flap a little, but mostly undulate in a similar way. Undulate. <laughs> how certain types of stingrays and skates undulate the edges of their pectoral fins. Wow, this guy is clearly knows what's up with... Uh... Rothopods. That's what those things that were swimming down. Don't shoot them. Shoot them. What's the uh, consensus on the rothopod? They are a protected species of cephalopod. Ceph oh, cephalopod that travel deep and feed on parasites that attach to mature seaweed. They have a symbi symbiotic relationship. Like many sea creatures, rothopods are bioluminescent. They can wow. emit various shades of colorful light. Rothopods are a little cranky and have a hammerhead similar to a hammerhead shark, so stay out of their way. Just like with the seaweed, if the manatee touches a rothopod, the manatee will have to use a unit of energy health to repair itself, so don't touch it. To discourage poaching... Oh, you just barely missed that one. To discourage poaching, no torpedo can harm a rothopod, so don't shoot at them. Okay, this has been my mistake. The, the damage list. will be transferred back to the vessel of origin. Oh, see, sometimes I get messed up, though, and I get caught between them. Oh, yeah. Clear a path for yourself, then. Oh, God. <laughs> uh -huh. the da -da -da -da. If you shoot a rothopod, you'll hurt the manatee instead. Although tor torpedoes cannot harm rothopods, the experience isn't pleasant. So a rothopod will go from cranky to furious when shot. Oh, so you get some health back, but you just immediately hurt yourself. Oh, oh. you're almost dead. That's okay. Uh, the, when one is furious, its skin will change to a reddish color, and it will dart at you faster. 
Seaweed. <sighs> the manatee will be damaged if you bump into mature seaweed that is closed in on you or seaweed offspring that keep popping up. Oh, there's different color. So it's dark green. Okay. The offspring may look passive, young and stupid, but don't get too close. They are sticky and will try to hold the manatee till every bit of health energy has been used up. Keep your distance and use your torpedoes to clear a path. Warning, every time you shoot 100 bits of seaweed, the mature seaweed will start to panic a little and increase rate of reproduction. The background color behind the score will get a little darker each time you shoot 20 bits of seaweed. So you'll know how close you are getting to 100. Once you shoot the 100th piece of seaweed, the score bar will flash. And you'll start on the next 100. Oh, see, like sometimes you get caught in the middle of these. That's guys. right. They said they were hold, they'd hold you. Uh, Nathan Strum says, if you stay too long, the seaweed will shoot up from below, so keep moving. So that's the key. So if you stay stu still, it's going to go bleh and attack you. I was wondering how that worked. Uh, ran into it. This is not... <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how you do. I think you're gonna do fine. <laughs> Not but I'm so just, easy. Eh? I'm just saying, like this stuff I, seems easy, but the you, controls are pretty like it's fast. You see, like I knock and I'm like firing. I'm firing. Blood. I played it a tiny oh. bit to make sure it worked, and it's it's fast moving. Yeah. See. Oh. Bam. Mature seaweed strands are big, mean, and virtually indestructible, uh, almost as sentient as animals. These giant strands can reach and grab, similar to tentacles and octopus. If you let the manatee hover in one spot for too long, like Nathan was saying, author of this ba uh, maintains Batari basic website, Random Terrain. So I I'm guessing this was made in Batari. Man, uh, I don't know how these people are getting like 9,000 or 8,000. 8, it's a long marathon game, I think, for 8,000. man. I mean, I'm like not getting harmed. I, I can imagine. And you oh, you get a bit of points for that. Quite a bit of points. Just avoid those guys completely. Uh, mature. Da, da, da. The only way to avoid by being grabbed by a mature seaweed tentacle coming up to you is move to the left or right. Uh, the seaweed will lose your scent. Move. Oh, God. I'm trying to, like, <laughs> I was trying to line up my shot. But the good thing is you can shoot, what's like. What's this? Ooh, I don't know what that is. I feel Ooh, like that's not that? something to. Homing health canisters. Oh. oh, guys. Shoot 100 bits of seaweed and a homing health canister will be dropped from uh, by your leaders for your hard work. Well, that's just <laughs> that sucks. too we, bad. Because it looked kind of dangerous, didn't it? Yeah, I was like, so far everything hurts me. So I was Everything. Like, I was like, let's not run into that thing. Yeah. Uh, but they're made in a hurry, so they aren't top quality. That means homing health canisters will often be defective and drop straight down. Defective, okay. or, defective or not, homing health canisters will weaken the deeper they fall, so get them as quickly as possible. Health canister starts going blue at first strength and is worth three units of health energy and 50 points. When it turns yellow, two, uh, it's red, it's worth one and 10 points. Uh, summary, blue, red, yes. Reminder, every time you shoot 100 bits of seaweed, the mature seaweed will start to panic a little. Yeah, I got that. Corroded homing health canisters. Oh, so there's bad ones too. Whoa, okay, yeah. There's uh, nothing, this isn't, you know what? Just don't go swimming. <laughs> yeah, this just is don't the rule. even go into the you water. Get eaten by sharks, you enter into the food ah. chain. Whoa. Do not go swimming, kids. Stay at home. Oh, there's some health, I think. What is yeah, that? that is. But uh, Yeah, a little bit of health. So those are good. Uh, when you shoot that bit of seaweed, the corroded health canister we released, it'll take about three seconds to activate. If you can salvage it, in time, salvage it in time, you'll get one unit of health and ten points. Since every corroded homing health canister has damaged circuits, if you don't salvage it before the sensors have activated, it will use its last bit of energy to home in on the manatee and try to ram it. Ah, there we go. Oh. So if you don't get that in time, it goes after you. Whoa. 900 396 is the best we did so far thousand point energy boost if you earn a thousand you're showing your worth to your leaders yeah i didn't even get close <laughs> so they will use their most expensive piece of technology to send out an energy burst that will instantly fill your energy health the seaweed will temporarily turn blue as the energy surges down through your sector and it's not just a one-time bonus your leaders will send down energy bursts at two thousand excuse me four thousand 3,000, all the thousands. All the thousands. All the thousands. Every thousand, you get an energy boost, basically. I was uh, 700 away from that. 
<laughs> about know, this game a bit and special thanks. See What Assault was made with Batari Basic, a uh, basic okay, like yeah. language by Fred Batari Quimby. Yep. Um, this game started out as an example program and made by Duncan Allen Hahn. Okay. Using hints, tips, code snips, and more stuff. <laughs> snips and snips tips. And, um, uh, as Batari, we got C... Uh, uh, CT Gruff, uh, Rev Eng, Robert M, Atarius, uh, Maximus, just some crazy cool names of Atari Age members. <laughs> yep. Thanks um, also goes to those who posted in the Seaweed Assault thread in the Batari Basic forum at Atari Age. And that, yeah, wouldn't exist without Batari Basic. Sound effects were created by uh, Tone Toy 2008. Oh, cool. Is and, that a program or a person? I think it Probably could be either. Yeah. Shaping those sounds using... Oh, so it's definitely a dude. Okay. Tone toy. It's clear! It's clear! Oh my god, you're doing so much better than me. Yeah. Uh, just, shooters are my jam. I'm just clearly... Clearly need some work. Okay. <laughs> the name of this semi-organic substance, the manatee, was suggested by uh, Christophero Sly. Ah! Sly. Christophero Sly. 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 Stood too long. I gotta keep moving. Oh, it's now okay. they're boosting. Now yeah, they're moving. You're starting to. Gotta get that. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it must have just started moving. Oh, gotta get it super quick. Ah! Careful shooting those guys. Oh yeah, I've got my, got my button pressed down. That's why. Oh, I'm getting it back. Oh, what was that? Health. Someone I got uh, it on the second. Dude suggested many ideas to improve the game and suggested improvements, and Zach suggested improvements, and yeah. Huh. You can download it, and Easter Egg. Oh, You can find, find the Easter Egg. If you find it, please let me know by posting it on the Seaweed Assault thread, but please don't say how you found it or you saw <laughs> on the screen. Oh, Thanks. okay. Oh. Uh, I'm not very good at getting Easter Eggs, unfortunately. Ah! Did that hurt me or... Ah! Whoa! Yeah, that's a rough. That's a rough one. That's that, the danger of holding down the button. Yeah, because you just blasted it with like and it's like every, die, and it, it came back at me. Pfft. That okay. was terrible. So what look, did I you get? did better. Like no, no, me. two eighty-eight. Oh, no, okay. you did better. You did better. No, you oh. you were, you had way more health. Nathan's out of here. See you, Nathan. Bye, Nathan. Have a Thanks good dinner. Thanks for hanging out, man. Yeah, thanks for hanging out and contributing. Bam. <laughs> I gotcha. Oh, I can't imagine somebody getting eight thousand. Yeah, this is dedication, and because you can't really, there's no like big boosters. You just no. Like, it's it is what it is. Like you wouldn't have like to shoot point. like eight hundred of these things, or not eight thousand. Eight thousand. There, there's other points, but mostly it's these things. Well, what's oh. gonna get you? They got you just the last second. And see, I'm at like 30 when I lost all my health. Oh, Mojo Filter, welcome back. You can um, see the uh, elevator action part um, tomorrow when I post it on uh, the YouTube archives. Dude, elevator action's cool. You gotta yep. check that stuff out. Yep. It's very cool. Um, right now, we're shooting seaweed, trying to get high score. See, that's an octopus. You did not shoot that octopus. I don't octopus. think we'll be getting a high score. The, we'll, what is we, like the, we, the, the lowest one we've beaten? It's 182. Dude, no take that in the, your face, 182. Who was that? AGB. You didn't even try, AGB. <laughs> but James on his first go beat you. Sorry. The, the, <laughs> the, ne the next one up is 2,268. Yeah. See, there's the, there's the ramp up. That's that's the one we got to shoot for. I don't even... 2,000? I'm at like 100. Know. I haven't even... <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> we didn't even make it at 1,000. Not 1, with that attitude. <laughs> Definitely not with that attitude. Do you get more points for combos? Whoa! See, because oh. you shot three in a row. I don't. Because you usually get one point. I'm gonna watch. You do. Whoa! You do get more points for a combo. So you gotta let it stack up. Oh! Uh, but don't stop moving, because you'll get you'll get blasted. Whoa! There now, maybe you might want to. <laughs> you went back into it. I know. It's rough. There you go. Get those three. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Yep. Yeah, you get combos. It goes one, two, four. Oh, my God. So See? It's going to come after you. Watch out. Oh, it died. It's gone. 
That's how they're getting these big scores. Okay. Whoa, see, like, you, but then, but then you just get like destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of the tactic, but now I don't gotta... even know if that's a tactic because I just died like quick, pretty quick. I feel like you got to stay alive, keep shooting. Uh, Maybe if I got see, some... that's three in a row right there. So watch the point. See, one, three, six. What? Okay, one, three. So six. it's one, two, three. So it adds up one, two, three. Maybe it goes up more like that. So here's my camera two. was dead. For Daryl Spice Jr. Seven. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Bam, bam. Two. So I should get on this side. Ooh, four. There we go. Okay. Some tactics. Yeah. And you have to get the ones on the edges because you can't get behind you them anyway. Can't do much. Get some health. Bam. There. That's a good well, that's one. That's a good one. That's a really good one. I'll clear out the ones. Gotta avoid that dude. Go away, octopi. Yep. There's. There we go. So I think it's still a slow slog. Right. Ah. Look at that. Look at that beautiful run That's right a there. nice one. There we go. I see. So the points are getting up there. Not terrible. So there's another string of three. And as you're positioning yourself, it's kind of accu accumulating, accumulating elsewhere too, right? Yeah. So it kind of works out. You just keep, and while you're waiting, you get stuff on the side. So you mean right? randomly shooting isn't a good strategy? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. Oh god! And there's a string of four. So that's pretty good. That's decent. I'm gonna go up here. Ow. Yeah, man. There add this go. to your homebrew collection for sure. Uh, uh, S. Ramirez. Uh, yeah, because 2008. This is a neat game. This is a crazy game. It looked um, like that only super simple so yeah. far. It's tough. Yeah, now we've got a tactic at least. We've got some ideas, but it's tricky because again, like this is a real marathon, man. It is eight thousand. Like oh, I don't know, like <laughs> eight thousand is uh, a bit much. Yeah, you can't touch the sides. Ow! Get out of here. Work. Oh, there's two in a row. I was just gonna get one. You can't let them accumulate too much though, because because then you're screwed. Yeah. Right? There's lots of power ups though, which is nice. Yeah, some games are not like that. Get that, get that. Yeah. Nice. So my health is still doing good. Now just don't shoot that. So now yeah, that just I'm not never, never shoot that. Now that I'm not holding down the fire button, there's no chance of me accidentally. Yeah, it's smart. Come on. Urgh. It's oh, hard to aim, right? Because you got to kind of line up with this thing. I mean, you have to just man. tap it. Whoa. Whoa. And then the things are going to try to eat you. I mean, this is an assault. This <laughs> Seaweed is, assault. This is raw. <laughs> is that what it's called? Yes. I'm so, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing, well. you're doing well. I'm doing okay, yeah. 354. See, I'm getting, getting better scores now. Just can't stop moving. You're our only hope, James. <laughs> on the seaweed assault, he's in the front lines, man. Well, we'll see what he's happens at a thousand. Torpedoes right? at seaweed. Ah! Oh my God! It protecting me. his friend. Yeah, that's, that's what right. happens though. I'm... When you're assaulted by the seaweed. Oh, that was not worth it. You think that you think you, you think it's worth it, and it's not. It's all clear now. You go. just gotta get to a thousand, Ooh. and then they send down some serious energy for you. Yes. Some serious energy. Full, Full life. You'll be great. There's two. Nice. Yeah, you can build them back up. I believe in you. I'll go man. for twos. Anything with two or above. I'm okay. thinking that you. That's on the side. I'll get that. Get that. Oh, two. Nice. There we go. Slightly different color. Get or that. Tanya outside. She's talking. Oh, I don't think so. Maybe it should be called Aerial Just Assault. That's right. Most Aerial Assault? Most games are Aerial Assault, <laughs> Mr. Fix. <laughs> Unless it's an RPG that I can, like, micromanage from home and, like, <laughs> figure out all the equations. All the tactics. That's right. Like, if it's like. I play Path of Exile a lot, actually. That's my, like, that's my game, yeah. go to game. Path of Exile. I don't know I don't, if anybody. I'm not familiar with that one. It's just an RPG. Okay. It's crazy amount of, like, the research that goes into it, though. It's, like, really. Oh, okay. It's really, so you really. you got to be really into it. Yeah, you spend a lot of time just staring at stuff. Ow, ow, it's free that... online, though, if anyone plays. Oh, free. Free to play. Yeah. Pay to win. 
Uh, actually, there's no <laughs> way to really play to win, but you buy really? you buy like um, stash tabs and just like there's basically like um, you can buy things that make your life easier, basically. Okay, but you don't have to. No, get you really it's, don't. It's all about tactic. It's it's a, a even playing field for. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've been playing like um, for a while, and like um, a lot of it is also a currency based game. So like you can you can be rich or you can be poor. It's about farming. <laughs> Mostly rich, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know. That's what you want. That's what you want to try and do, but oh, and this trading is really big. It's gonna come after me. It's going to. Oh, oh. you can't do anything about yeah, it. Yeah, you gotta get it. This is relentless. Ow! It's, it's after that hits you once, you, it's, oh, you're Lord fine. Monkus, his Path of Exile is great. Yeah. There you go. You've got a. I got a. a I got a friend. So you gotta get that thing, no matter what. There we go. Keep moving. Just been playing, played oh, Molten God. Strike on Delve. That's what I was doing. What? <laughs> Don't know what? if that means what? that what? means nothing to anybody. But maybe something. Molten to Strike Lord on Monkeys. Delve. That's oh, right. God, that's the best. That's the best right there. I can't there. wait to get to play that after this. Molten Strike, strike on, on Delve. Delve. Yeah. Oh, get out of my way! I gotta get that. Oh, my health is taking a beating because all the power ups are on the sides. That one oh, I can get. Oh, you're doing well, James. Uh, seven thousand. I doing think well. I might. Ow! Damn it. Might be able to get to a thousand. <laughs> Seriously random when programmed by random terrain. It is very random. Oh no! Can I get it? Yeah. Well, at least I got one point. Oh, you're crushing it, man. I'm almost to the th <gasps> Good save. Those are good, but also panicky because yeah. you have to get them or they'll come down and hunt you. This gets to be challenging. almost have to hurt yourself to get it because it's worse if you don't get it oh, no. God damn it. Whoa. oh it took it out oh. oh 817 is pretty good though not bad not bad good. okay so let's time see if for you me can to roll implement those tactics let's see if I can find anything else out serious random uh, Dan says, I had this game in my Harmony games back in 2002. It was so popular. It had a lot of players. Oh, never mind. He's talking about Path of Exiles, right? Did he? No. no. I had my Harmony, Harmony. games. Oh, Harmony okay. is not. Only, only Lord Monkus talk. is talking about that. Okay. Exiles. Okay. Oh, your Harmony um, games. Yes. So this is for the, this is for the homebrew tournament. Um, he has, uh, Dan has a uh, separate uh, competition. Oh, does he? Yep. This is Errol in a song. <laughs> that's right, man. Oh, my God. Okay. Look at this. Three, though, James. Oh, that's good. Ah, you get it. Ah, so twitchy, right? Bam. You can't move a tiny bit. It's, it's not an accelerated movement. It's, like, it's a fast, quick, fast like movement. Women. There you go. For sure. 817J. Oh, Thank you very much, Arena Sorry, my sock smells so bad. It's been, like, a really long day. Oh, that's I feel fine. terrible about it. Windows open. <laughs> There's right. a sm slight There's breeze. A smell. Uh, I think we've got all the hints. Yes. Oh, you got a good one. I heard a bunch. Here's hey, baby, another baby. four. Hey, baby, baby. Nice. Whoa. Octopus. <laughs> Those are fairly easy to evade if the path is free. Yeah. Once it gets a little dense, they're hard to hard to move around. So it's... Oh, get that. Get that quick. Do not let that go after you. <laughs> even if you're full health, it's like, no, yeah, you have no you choice. Yeah, you think you know what's going on, don't. Get Ooh, out of my good way. Good job. So this, this is almost kind of like... It's like a space shooter except underwater. It's a underwater. very methodical get it, get game. It. it is. And it's a balance game. A balance between letting it build up and keeping it clear so that... You can actually move around without getting destroyed. Oh. But it can only take one. So don't panic too much when it gets you. Don't shoot it. Ooh. And that's like, don't sit still. <laughs> is what yeah, that sounds like. It senses you. Burr, burr, burr. It senses your non-movement. Usually things sense your movement. But, oh, uh, God. Oh, God. Shoot it. Oh, it got... Oh, it ran into something. Oh, you can... You can whoa, steer whoa. it. You could steer it into something. You totally could. That's how you get away with, from it. Whoa. Get that. Get that. Get it. Hey, thank you. Crazy Come in. Oh, it's Tanya with a kitty. Hey, Tanya, there's a seaweed assault, and or James just is one winning. Kitty. You want to come in? Oh. 
Because we're, we're competing. You gonna come on camera? Oh god, see, I I was doing well and then I'm dead, man. Shove over. No, it's okay, I just got a really bad roll. You wanna go again? No, it's you a short can go game. ahead. It's not exactly a short game. I warn you, my socks smell terrible. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's okay. Nice, nice title screen. This font. Was the cat was at the door. He was like pining to come in. Slowly oh. waiting. Oh, buddy. Yeah, it's we like it's my show. We kicked Pixel out. Oh, yeah, yeah he's trouble. He's he trouble. He is trouble. Yeah. Pixel was just like, yeah. All over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Back to him. yeah. Was that your brother's fault? Yeah. 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 He's like, oh, I couldn't come in because my bad brother. Oh. It's rough, it's not you know. not fair. That's what happens when you have siblings. They just mess up I all your know. opportunities. <laughs> they blame it on you yeah. when you did nothing. Oh, Mr. Fix says, hey, Tanya. Hello. That's a lot of people watching. There, um, Dan K was in the chat. Oh, I'm nice. not sure if he's still around. Oh, oh this is some serious <laughs> oh. need for affection, this yeah. cat. So you can't Ooh, get... Ooh, what's that? It's something I need to get immediately. Yeah. Or else it homes in and tries to kill you. Oh. Yes. <laughs> So Basically, it, you it's just... a power up that kills you if you wait too long. This... So, 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 okay. What are you doing? You I'm just clearing shoot out seaweed. seaweed. That's <laughs> all you do, yeah. and like everything can hurt you. Seaweed can hurt you if you stay still. The thing kills you. That thing will kill you. If it starts moving. The yeah. octopus kills you if you shoot the octopus nice. to die. Nice. <laughs> if you don't get that ah. thing, it'll ah. attack you. But you can steer it. You just learn this thing spits. Whoa, oh. pixel. Yeah, if you stop moving for any length of time, the big strong seaweed comes up from the bottom of the of the uh, ocean floor. Oh, so it keeps you moving. Yes, you have to keep moving. And to give you an idea, <laughs> the number one on the win is like eight thousand. Yeah. Someone. So this is oh, a competition really? game. Yeah. Mm. So the best I've been able to do was like three hundred. James did eight hundred. Yeah. Pixel uh, is yes. making sure James does 200. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. He's, he's on it. Oh. Pixel. Wow. Oh, we almost got. Pixel, are you causing trouble? He's oh, yeah. Hi, buddy. He's obsessed with hair today. He just wants to lick <laughs> everyone's like hair. Everyone's hair. <laughs> Three there. Oh, so, someone's trouble. So you're you know, trying to get. that noise when he's when he wants to be trouble. So you try and get combos of, see, there's two in a row, so that's a good one. Two in a row. You're trying to get, that's power up. Oh. That's health as well. Drops from the ceiling every hundred, was it? Um, yeah, every time you shoot a hundred seaweed, it comes yeah. out. So it makes a little noise. Some jealousy in those eyes. I Pixel know. Pixel's is looking at Atari like. <laughs> what are you up to? So it's not too bad once you manage I don't know if you things. I saw what happened to me. I got like hit no. by a thing, and then the thing came, and then I got jammed in the corner, and then I tried to oh, move. God. It was like a perfect. I was like full health, and all of a sudden, uh, with one move, I was dead. Yeah, I've played games like that where it just kind of forces you into a terrible position, and you just get hit like ten times in a row. Yeah, S. Ramirez says I have to buy this. This will make a great addition to game night. Thanks for playing this. Yeah, it this is, is a cool game. It's um, definitely an unusual premise. Oh, I've never seen the. No, it's. There's some crazy names for this, it, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some. Seaweed what is it? Assault. Oh, the, sorry. I want to. Oh, no, that's Mappy. Okay. <laughs> it's on my. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Close, You'll have to wait. The, it's okay. Oh, oh, over this I thought it was evading that. Go say hello to Aaron. Oh, oh, oh Lord. Atari. Oh. Yeah. Come oh. back, buddy. He just lays on the yeah. floor a few feet away. It's like, nah, not just today. rubbing yeah. it in. Not today. He'll be back, don't you worry. So the bottom can't hurt you, but the sides can hurt you. Oh, yeah, he said, how did you guys get into Atari? You seem too old. And not You seem too young. <laughs> not an old fart like me. But he was me. talking about me. Yeah. I'm obviously he was roped into the it. youngest. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. 
Ireland yeah. is the youngest. Before coming on the show, you had never played. Atari. Yeah, I'd never played a single Atari game. I'd done things like I'd played old games on my dad's computer because he had things like CDs and he would like PC games. Yeah, but no, yeah. but they would be like he had like like oh. like CDs of old games because he really wanted to share like his childhood games with me. Right, you know, and what I was the hell is this? And I was a big gamer and a big nerd. I I would just go to my dad's place and open up his computer and just play all day. And my sister would like you know have friends and stuff. And uh. I would just play games. <laughs> so nice. like um. I was super open to like playing Atari. So playing Atari to me is like it reminds me of like my dad, I guess. Like it reminds me of like games he would have played, which right. is kind of cool. And I tell him about the thing, and he's like, "Oh, that's cool. You're doing that." Oh, so okay. um, so and then but like homebrew, I didn't know that there was even such a term <laughs> until James. So James is the true expert, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, um, it's his show, and I come on and I try. Like, yeah. I wouldn't say I'm an expert, knowledgeable. And Mr. Fix says it should be Erlen's. Seaweed assault. assault. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> assault well. by seaweed. That's uh, so you said, someone, you said someone was at 8,000? 8, 8,000. That's the... So I don't know how much the difficulty ramps up, but um, it doesn't... It doesn't ramp up quickly, let's say. So I can see why it's it's kind of a marathon game, maybe. It truly is. Yeah, it just keeps going. And then if you get, like, some health and but stuff, is, you can keep shooting. They are appearing faster. And see, obviously, it's, like, way easier to shoot to the side than the top. Which oh, is, yeah, like, I huge... find it way easier than... Just because it's, like, there's, like, so much... it's thinner. Yeah, um, it's so yeah. much you can possibly hit, right? Got more and you got two health bars. Yeah. Two health bars. Yeah, yeah so one on the left and one on the right. What are they for? Interesting. What's the difference? Uh, it's just like it's just a long. Like they could make. Is it like one long one then? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind but of I think they probably wanted to like program so it's like the 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 like um, the numbers are in the middle and then like. No, no, yeah, that's cool. I mean, you could have made one short one. But yeah. It's kind of neat that it, it expands across. It makes you feel content. like you're doing well. You know, you're like, oh, I lost. Okay, now we're good. Yes, James. Good. Should I, uh, that's grab what that I needed. Cat? Uh, if he starts walking around behind the monitors or. Okay back up to mostly health now so oh god it's coming break fast a now. thousand do it do it <laughs> well, we'll see. Is it i think what james life? needs is more is pressure kind of we should just... it's what one life one yes life? it's all yeah. based on health so gotcha. if you lose all your health then it's you're, over you're oh, oh ground oh. troopers like we need Ow. we need a new poll oh. one for old fart two for young buck <laughs> Am is I a young buck? Am I two? I guess I'm two. It's just voting on who they like best. Just a general vote. Everyone, most people. LOL. Everyone. Oh, two. Everyone. Is. <laughs> Ow. Damn it. Oh, you got this, James. Don't believe it. 873. What's the age cutoff? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, the difference I'm 27. Between? So that's sort of. You know, gives uh, you, you, there's a gives good a chance metric. you might have the bottom. Like you I might be the bottom end of that I scale. I feel like I'm probably the bottom. I was born yeah. before the Atari came out. Oh God! Sorry, guy. Didn't mean to do that to him. So that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Bam! Need it? Yes, needed it. When did the When did the Atari come out? Uh, seventy-seven. Ooh. <laughs> Is it born before or after? Yes, James, that, you got to a thousand, dude. Sorry, what? Is, is being before or, at, before or after our uh, line now? Uh, it might be. I think even if you're um, after, yeah. it still could be old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It depends. Oh, it's very crowded down here. But it's lots of points. Oh, my God. i got to clear this out. I'm going to have to start shooting vertically in a second. It's too many. Oh no. James, you got this, I believe in you. It's too many. 47, 51. Need that. Because I'm the oldest, 52. No! Why did it take so many points? <laughs> did I shoot it accidentally? No, it's just a ruthless game. It's just. What was the next one? It was 2000? 2000 is the next. Oh, God. But you'll get a like a like a like a homing thing in soon. Do you know what I mean? Homing thing? Oh. oh. Like a oh. power. Because every every hundred that you that you kill, right, it's gonna oh. give you like a little bit of extra health. I need to get down yeah. to that line. See, bam, and you gotta get it. You gotta get it because it's like. Ah. Uh, oh. no. I don't have to get it, but it would have helped a lot. Yeah. Can you get health back? 
Yeah, those things. Oh, yeah, those I things see. will help uh, you. Gotcha. So it's not impossible to get health back. Oh, I love those those little um, jellyfish yeah. or octopus or whatever it is. I love to hate them too. No, but they're they're beautiful. <laughs> I think they're the little yeah, they're really are, nice, are gorgeous. They nice and colorful. The oh yeah, see, I'm understanding how you can get to like eight thousand now with yeah, the sort of like really kind the of combo starting to yeah be turn well, into a different game. Honestly. It is because you can't not get combos now. They're coming too fast. You have to kind of clear out a. A quadrant? Yeah, you like anything, you reach a threshold where you just start to like... Ah. I just can't. Ah! Shoot! Shoot him! Ah! Shooting there we go. Yes! There go. Yes, oh, James! Yes! Oops, sorry, dude. <laughs> is, it, is, it pro is it a problem if you shoot him? Uh, yeah, he gets really pissed. He goes and red. he goes for you and takes a lot of your, your health yeah. if he touches you. I needed that. Oh god, I can't get it in time. It's just gonna have to die. Yeah, it's, the 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 game console that was a big deal to me. Like I remember playing NES. Right, like that, that was, that, your was era. that was kind of like uh, my uncle's friend had an NES that I played, mm. and so that was kind of my sister still plays crazy amounts of NES. She loves that game. Uh, she loves that console. And then the first one that I remember like buying brand new was the N64. Oh, oh, one eight three six. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've thrown Do you down want to try the gauntlet. One, Tanya? I'll try Go one, but it. I'm not gonna make Get your it name on the board. Me. Get your name on the board. Well, just is it B and? Uh... Yep, oh. just one button. Just shoot. Cat hair everywhere. Well, that's expected. We have cats. Yeah. See for me. Whoa! And I'll that was bad. You were not paying attention. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, NES was my system, I think, growing up, so... 51's well, not, not really. that old I, I, you're 51. Uh, yeah. NES was yours? Yeah. Well, NES, uh, NES came later. I had a Commodore 64, and that's what I gained on when I was... Yeah, old. same here. It was, yeah. it was all about my Commodore. If you want to get points, don't shoot. Don't shoot those dudes. Do not shoot those dudes. You don't get points? Get those three. That's what you want. You want to get combos. Yeah, bam. And keep moving. Always keep moving. Get those two. It's yeah. hard to uh, there you set go. yourself up. It's now not you got easy. It. Yeah, it's no. so quick, and I think he There's knows. There's a bit of a glide to it, too. Yes. So to yeah. actually get in the, right, in the right... Uh... C64 ah! is an amazing system. Yes, it is. And, yes. And we, we had this whole... Um, discussion the other day about how everything was was um kind of bootleg and all, <laughs> yes. all the games we had my dad basically got from his friend who was on a bbs and and oh sorry and yeah. so so i never played a game with a manual ever no like, there was never an explanation of how to play anything and, no. and, and you just kind of He's just, just waiting. He's gargoyling. He's ready to he just gargoyling. pounce. <laughs> so that's yeah. my memory of gaming. It's just like, oh, what what's on this disc? Let's give it a try. Uh, boot it up. What are the controls? Yeah. And, and of course, there was keyboard controls too. So you had to press every key on the keyboard. So I'd, I would make my own manuals by writing detailed descriptions of what everything does and maps and everything. So... Well, get it, get it. Well, like, for my or, generation, like, the, 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 the nostalgic games are, like, um, Ocarina of Time on the N64, like, Mario 64, like, oh, GoldenEye. 64 it's all, it's all First Gen 3D. It's all N64. First oh, Gen 3D, yeah. Okay. And then, like, things like Castlevania on N64. Yeah. Um, but the big ones, I'd say, were Mario, um, Ocarina of Time. Right. Majora's Mask, as well, was yeah. one people played a lot of. It's one system I do not have. Yeah, it's the sixty-four. The 64? That's when I that's when I started that got my own thing, and that was the popular I, system. I don't have any first-gen 3D systems. It wasn't great, man. I mean, actually, <laughs> so like, brutal. The camera in those games oh, is like terrible. Awful. Like, you can grab that's that. That's a wall. Yeah. That's my face. That's yeah. a terrible wall again. <laughs> and like I see a fairy being like, "Look, listen." That's like <laughs> guiding you most of the game. Um, but I played a lot of PC games too. That oh, was really yeah. my thing because my I always had a computer. Splendid Nut said that too. His he eighty 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 six clone, so an early computer. I started out at three eighty six was my first um, PC. Three eighty six. Yeah. And you mean post post Commodore sixty four? Yeah, that was my first yeah. computer home home computer. Um, oh, he so. said Erlen just mentioned most of the games my son has. <laughs> well, those are the biggest ones. Right? Yeah, that's the thing. That's the Golden how old eye. is your son? Is he probably is he maybe my age or is he younger? I'd be curious. 
A ground trooper had an Atari 800, an Apple II, then a, a pirated Zork 1. I still have the photocopied manual. Yeah, I had photocopies of manuals where you have to type in. Where you had to type. Well, only for the games that you had to type in a word from page 23, paragraph 4, <laughs> word number 5, so you could get into the game. Oh, I see. Get it, get it, get it, get ah, it. You're freaking me out. Don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's going to hurt you if you don't get it. I also played a lot of D&D. I used to, I used to uh, be a dungeon master for my own stuff. So we did a lot of pen and paper stuff. That's why I like RPGs. Cause yeah, oh yeah, if you were the dungeon master. I, I had to read definitely. all those freaking books. That was what I always bugged me. And then people would, wouldn't show up and play after oh, a while. God. All this be, work you put into yeah, planning. Yeah, learning all this crazy stuff. But I learned, like, actually, like, that's helped me a lot, a lot out in university. Because, like, having to, like, learn how to read, like, these, like, player's handbook and monster oh, manual. Yeah. Would like, you um, do pre-made ones or would you? I made dungeons. my own, so I didn't. I drew maps. It Get was that? it was absurd how much how much effort I put in. Oh yeah, and then people don't show up. Right? Yeah, and everyone would just want to do their own thing. No one would be like, you have all these plans. It was a good like lessons for life because you get all these ideas, and then people would be yes. like, I want to just kill this person, but don't you want to talk to them? I came up with all these ideas for what yeah. they could say. No, we're gonna kill him. Yeah. Okay, well he's sort of the guy who gives you the quest. Whatever, we'll kill him. Oh, God, okay, God. so. Uh, <laughs> you just change the name of the guy and he's just a different guy in the pub. And then it's like, we'll kill him. It's like, oh, God. Oh, God. That was the, that, but that's like, you know, playing with teenage boys, right? Yeah. Just... And the guards arrest him to guide him into a something. Uh, ah! 568. Ah. It's better than me, Tanya. It's way <laughs> no, better than me. <laughs> no, dude, when I do. It's fun. Let's see, how, fun let's see if how I can. I always underestimate these games. Every game before I play them. Because I, I, I looked at this one a long time ago before it was in the um, in the competition. And I looked at it and went, eh, looks kind of bland. And <laughs> you just go around and shoot blocks? Okay. Mm, that's not very exciting. Oh God, get away from me. <laughs> but, now, but when you play it, you know that the person put a lot of effort into game balance. Yeah. Like, th they knew that you could either wait and and build it up and get more points and there's there's power-ups and things you have to avoid oh, and things you have to steer into other things and um oh mr Go fix away. says all his c64 games were bootleg yeah. i bought one c64 oh, see, game like and my brutal. friend bought me one for my birthday it was puyan i don't know if anybody else out there know knows puyan. Dude, atari is messing with you're a, a pig shooting wolves that are gliding down on balloons you have to shoot their balloons mm. and then they oh. fall to the ground oh. oh um it was it was it was okay but it was very limited because it was a single screen game and it doesn't change it just gets faster and harder um, i'm so i'm pretty sure my favorite game which was mission um sorry yeah impossible mission impossible mission yeah. i'm pretty sure that might that one was one my dad actually bought oh okay. and then um i love that game and then we bought and um it was one Mission Impossible, Impossible Mission, Impossible Mission Two. I so I had I had one and two. No. But um, but I think those might have been the only games we had with a box and a manual. A lot of the games were just like random games my dad got off his friends kind right. of thing. So. I think this game would be good for with a rollerball. I think it would be actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would What's be, a rollerball? Am I? Uh... Um, it's a little ball like an upside down old school mouse, and you spin it to move around. Oh yeah, you, you need it. to bring that out for Erlen to try. Yeah. You would, you, well, it's 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 not that. We are gonna do a trackball episode. Oh, oh. trackball? Yeah. yeah. Getting wailed on. Sometimes I, I seem to just have bad luck. Like I, I like I'm doing well, and then all of a sudden it's like. When my friend bought me Puyan for my birthday, I I kept asking asking him what he got for my birthday for me. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's a video game, and then he would he went on to describe. A game that you would have nowadays, like it was all. He was like describing the most the craziest game, like 3D, like yeah. this, <laughs> this game that that blew my mind. Yeah. And then when I opened it up, I was so disappointed. Uh, yeah. Was it? Was he like he was just kidding around? He was kidding that he bought me this crazy awesome. But game you actually with, believed with him. Dragons. Yeah. I did. Aww. And it was like this kid. Yeah, deceiving. Tried me. to tell me that That's he had. That's how a, relationships get destroyed. This kid right. told me he had like a hoverboard. He was gonna. Yeah. 
and, oh, and, he, and he worked this for like two weeks and then he got three of his friends to like pretend that they also got hoverboards and they were like dude our hoverboard's great he's like give me 20 bucks and I'll bring a hoverboard oh, into school man. so I remember explaining that to my mom and she's like I think that he's I'm like no everyone's saying it and then I remember yeah. I gave him my 20 bucks and he shows up and he was like I handed him the 20 dollars and he just gave me a skateboard oh. <laughs> and I was like it's not bad for a skateboard it wasn't terrible and he was like I just wanted to sell my old skateboard man thank you and then he walked away oh, and I remember no. having trust issues from that point yeah, oh yeah. no <laughs> And you never used Craigslist. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's right. His name was Oliver. I still remember his name. Oh, Oliver. Oliver. You're out there watching right now. That's right, now. man. And he always he, he, had... he owes you he owes you a hoverboard, which kind yeah. of exists that's in a right. terrible yeah. form oh. on magnets and terrible things. But like kids that. do things like that that they are do. so and because you also oh, believe yeah. it. You're just you're young and you're, and like, you're like oh I guess you're so. eight what? and you're like yeah I saw Why Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could exist in 2015. Why you know, not? That's what comes in 2015. Oh, good ones. Nice. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> you're okay. You're, you're good on the health. End. Oh, yeah. Huge health. Full health. Whoa. Minus That's one. Nice. Oh, oh. Nice and clear. Just sort of there waiting for some stuff to come back. Yeah. Nice. Triple. It's funny that each of these is worth one. Point. Yeah, yep. it's really <laughs> one. So I I I, I um destroyed like five hundred and sixty something. No, seeds. They, well plus they, a few of the other points. Triples I guess. add up. I, I'm not uh, sure exactly how it works. Well, it's like, it's like one, three, five. Like count. Let's maybe watch eight. this, hey. Uh, six points. It doubled. Yeah, yeah one, and then no. so if you can get one, three, five. Bam. There you go. And those yeah. are worth a lot of points, like yeah. fifty points. Whoa, oh. see, the, you think you're doing well, and then I just, like, get wailed on. Pixel. Pixel, you are yep. messing with um, our stuff. Oh, I have a story to tell you. Somebody mentioned a 172, oh. 1702 monitor. Um, before I uh, moved in with Tanya, mm. I had eight Commodore monitors. Yes. Because that's what everyone needs um, in their in their living room. Is uh, a governor a, monitor. A mix a mix of 1701s and 1702s. You um, kept the, you kept what? I've kept them for a long time. Yeah. And then I sold them, I guess. You yeah. Or donated them. You you have two, right? You still now have two. I I only have two. Yeah. Unfortunately. Okay, buddy. Oh. Anyway, you're gonna have to take the hit. Oh. Um, oh see, like, oh, oh, he's, he's I know they enough. get you all at once, right? Yeah, like eight. It's... I wanted to get nine and then get a a, multi <laughs> a multiplexer and spread a video screen across the nine so it's like Whoa. one big on, screen. Buddy. Yes. No. Oh. And they are the sharpest, cleanest monitors ever. They're so good. Whoa. And it's what Atari Age uses oh, at wow. their display uh, at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. You had eight of them? All Commodore monitors. Yeah, I had eight of them because I collected them. Cool. And I got them for so cheap because I was I bought them at a point when they were worth nothing. Like literally like five bucks. I, I just kept buying every one that I could. Oh. I got rid of all the 1701s because they had um, heavy, heavy, heavy shielding in the bottom. It felt like there was a brick in the bottom of it. Nice. Yeah. Promptly wasted. Oh, no, not fully. <laughs> not fully. Mm -hmm. It's just hard. I mean, I didn't waste it. I probably would have, yeah. would have like... You get more of those little ones anyway. Oh, oh my god. Oh god. Those are the Oh. See, oh. like... What you have to do is wait till it gets close to you, then dart to the right. Okay. Really quickly. Because then it can't get you. Come on, try it on the next one. Come, Come on. on. Oh. Move. Oh. Life is... Doing well. Yeah, 850. Yeah, doing very well. Oh, God. Oh. Just steer it into something. Just let it get into something. There, there you go. go. Whoa. Uh, uh, uh. See? That's how oh, you're it. right. Oh, you're... Because it can only... You move faster than it. So when you're close to it and you dart over it, James, can't, it can't keep you up with you. You've been paying attention. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's already got his strategy. Oh right nice, there. that was that huge. That was really good. Oh score. yeah, massive. Huge okay. payday. Oh, just in time, I think. Oh, That's gonna be huge. Oh, get it. Oh, he got in the way. Oh, that would have been so big. Oh, that damn octopus. Yes, eight Esmer Esmer Ramirez. <laughs> oh nice, over a thousand. And oh. you ran into one. Oh uh, no! Uh, uh. You still got gr How much does really he take? good health. He doesn't take that. Much. One hit, one yeah. little hit. Oh, that's not too bad for those, that, those guys. Yeah. Oh. I watch oh, all nice. my 8-bit computers on TV. What? <laughs> I watch all my 8-bit computers on TV. 
Oh, through a, a normal television. Mm. Yeah, if like any of you get or? yeah normal CRT. Yeah. If you get your hands on a, a 1702 monitor, definitely buy it because it is really nice, really compact. It's got a nice look to it as well. A lot of controls. It it can accept a uh, kind of S video if you get the right cable. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> You're doing terrible. Keep yeah. it up. Thank you. <laughs> what keep doing is terrible. Oh, good one. See, it's it's, it's really full screen though. Yeah. This is a full experience now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Packs you in. I'm just getting chipped away by just touching them. I know. Oh, it's gotta, not... gotta keep them just a little bit far, far away. There you go. Nice. Yeah, You're doing job. awesome. Yeah. Oh. oh. No need to panic. Wait till it comes to you. <laughs> Find a That's nice right. open spot Damn and then dive right. to the side. Oh, nice. Holy cow. This is some serious. I really like the color. I like the color gradations on the side. The and greens? The yeah. yeah. I'm feeling the fatigue, though. No, the yeah. marathon game, I'm <laughs> not going to lie. Like, things like, my nose is running. <laughs> like... As soon as you start playing, noses are itchy, of course. And... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Get it quick. Oh, yeah. Good job. Oh, I'm trying to like slam it into them. Oh, it's not so easy though. I don't know how to like not slam into them for some of these, right? Well, they they're they're popping up really fast. There's just so many. Yeah, yeah but you're still hanging in there. Nice, huge points for those combos. Nice. You're on your way to eight thousand. Atari, oh. down, <laughs> pixel Atari. Down, in, down in front pixel. Oh my god. Oh where? my goodness. No, just stay here. Calm down. Yeah. Just stay here. It's okay. a war of attrition. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. So it, it, they might have seen him jump across the the uh, screen there. Uh, oh, maybe part of the, the, the part of the zero yeah. page homebrew um, challenge yeah. is dealing with cats. It is dealing with which cats. is yeah. adds another dimension to it your does. gameplay. It does. You think that really? you think that oh. these games are yeah. Oh, oh God. Not enough room. Oh, you're getting closed in. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, yeah. ah. 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 Good job, though. Down you go. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, man. 1836, so James still has the high score. That's right. 1702. So <sighs> Cat attack, Mr. Fix says. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I think what, how did I do 1710? Pretty oh. good. Pretty good. We didn't get into fourth place, but we're, oh, in, okay. we're both we're in fifth and sixth place. That's good. Fifth and sixth. That's the best we can do Good today. Step. See, we just solved. What a great name, too. I love that. Needs oh. a pause button. Yeah, this it game, sure this does. Game does need a My pause. My eyes are like watering. Let's <laughs> got a demo mode. from this whole thing. Cool. So that's a super fun game. That yeah, is that a was nice, really cool. A nice balanced game. Um, I don't know how you get to eight thousand. <laughs> I mean, I know into you some degree, but you going. just you just keep working. You just keep. Going. I don't know if it it um, caps out anywhere with like how that appears, but I guess it just comes faster and faster and faster. It's a methodical game, though. You just take your time. Yep, if you don't, don't get panic. hit. But it's the thing is, is it, you, you know, like it's you're jockeying it. It's it's a lot harder to maneuver than it might seem. You know. It is. What was that? Crying? Oh, shooting diet. Shooting diagonally actually would have been nice at because look, uh, it's at the, hard. But near the end, when the screen is full, yeah, then, just clear a line. Diagonally. Yeah, so you might be able it's to sneak bad. through. It's not a bad idea actually. Oh man, I bet there's some additional tactics there's some that stuff. we don't know. Yeah, that could have helped us like get clear. Oh yeah, when it's really full, you can get a nice line. That's right. And nice. get maybe get in points. the corner or something. You yeah, just wait. cats are okay. Yeah, I just heard someone cry, but oh, he buddy. ran off. He ran off. <laughs> Um, so the games we played today, Mappy, of course, awesome. Yes, <laughs> Mappy is a, uh, always a... Pick that up in November when it comes to the Atari Age store. And Elevator Action, great start by Champ Games. Oh, it's going to be insanely fun. Of course, 8,000, they lie. Well, it's... they posted a screenshot, so... <laughs> There's Photoshop, no, I'm saying yeah. Don't plant that, that's a bad thing yeah, to plant people's bad. heads. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. a... and then this game. Uh, I mean, oh, elevator action. Yeah, it's a great, great start. Um, I can't wait to see if if he does that one yet. Um, Arena I, foot, like, pump it on it. <laughs> it's yeah. like, hey, this is the game. <laughs> yeah. Here you, oh, did he post the 8,000? I don't know. That's, that might be That the, might be. We'll find out at the, the end of the show. Yeah. Here's the video of... Oh, it is. 
Mm. Thanks, Arena. Yeah, it'd be interesting there, to There is examine. no lies. There's no lies. Yeah. It's always a cool thing to, like, whenever you finish a game or something like that, to look at, like, a speedrunner or someone who's yes. really good at uh, it and see, and like... Go, ah, that's yeah. how they got it. And, or doing it, that tactical. It's a game called Left for Dead. Yes. And I, like, I was, like... Zombie I, game. I had to play it with, like, my, my girlfriend at the time. It was her favorite game, and I was yeah. so bad at it. <laughs> so I spent, like, the whole weekend watching speedrunners because I was, like, I can't be humiliated at her favorite game. <laughs> and then I could keep up. I was, like, the shotgun. That's the trick. Uh, so, you know, yeah. maybe we can learn something from this 7,000-plus uh, and not be Probably embarrassed could. on stream. We can, we can u use these tactics. And for everyone who wants to beat our score, go ahead, man. Because yeah. I would love to see some people come in and cry our score and like have some oh, fun and, and see like that's the thing our, our scores are easily crushed i think yeah uh, just a couple hours you know couple. We, we dedicated like an hour and a half to it or that's something that's right but if you spend a whole evening playing this who knows <laughs> yeah you could get in the thousands mid thousands <laughs> maybe spend a whole five? year playing this <laughs> yeah tens of thousands <laughs> yeah. infinite you'll have to turn it off you'll roll the zeros look how many zeros they gave Gamers don't 900, lie, I think. Nine, 900, 000? That's Yeah, crazy. they did give a lot of zeros. Yeah, they're prepared. Too many. They're like, yeah. oh, you want to go up to... So, that is the end of the show until Friday mm -hmm. when we return. Uh, we're going to be playing Peril, wow. which is an early work in progress oh. um, by a programmer that has done some other games that we've played before. Is by John Von Neumann. Um, he, uh, I wish I could remember what other games he has made, but, uh, let's see if I can, Night Guy. So this is Night, the guy at Night oh, Guy. Oh, yeah. This is his next game. Oh, that, I'm, I'm stoked on that, man. Yeah. That'll be cool. Mm -hmm. Um, so we'll be playing that on Friday, which unfortunately you won't be here for that. Is Darcy? Be, no, I think it's next week, so okay. you'll be here for Peril. Lucky. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, um, and... Don't know what else on that day, but I have three more games to choose. And uh, then we have the um, Halloween show, That's which right. you'll be here for. So we're going to play, be playing some scary homebrew. Are you going to dress up? Uh, probably will. Okay. That's... You don't have to. No, there's no, there's no requirement. There's no requirement, really? but no. I'll just be recycling my Halloween party from Saturday's costume. Oh, <laughs> okay, cool. I'm not going to get a separate costume because they wouldn't have seen it. They have so. no idea. Okay. Yes. Um, we'll see more obnoxious, obnoxious cats, cats. More or obnoxious. some lovely cats. Yeah. Sometimes Atari snuggles in our lap. And, and just settles between and, it, and, and yep. you just purrs the whole time. You just like, never know. Yeah, you don't know what yep. kind of cat you're going to get. It's like driving an old car. It's like you might be cruising down the road <laughs> having a great time. You might be not working. And, you, you <laughs> know, you got to change the spare. and It <laughs> doesn't right. turn on. You break down once in a while. Your battery goes you dead. <laughs> I love the cats. <laughs> good They're or good bad or cats. bad cats. Yeah. Um, and keep an eye out for for the interviews that I'll be releasing over the next week or so that I did with um, Dan Kitchen and um, Alf, Al Yaruso from Atari Age and also um, John Champo from yes. Champ Games who did and Mappy. So you'll learn a lot more about Mappy and learn a lot more about his other upcoming title in 2019, Wizard of War. And John, keep working on um, uh, uh, what elevator action? Elevator action. Uh, man. He has other. He's got some other things in the pipe. I know he's got stuff, but keep working on it. I can't wait to awesome see it. Things. Oh my god! So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, uh, but he doesn't drop any hints in the interviews, so mm -hmm. unfortunately. But yeah, you I know? can't even say anything. <laughs> No, don't spoil other no, people's stuff. Loves, you can spoil anything. James just likes to... You um, can't spoil it because... He's, he's a tease. He, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He uh, likes to have a secret. So. He's, like a, he's like a poker player yeah. who's like, ooh, look at this hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this ooh. hand's amazing. Ooh. Except, he's, except the game is amazing. Except he's definitely not bluffing. Yeah, <laughs> he has it's hand. always amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, so if just go to Zero Page Homebrew on YouTube and click subscribe and you'll get notified in your subscriptions or ring the bell or whatever you want to do. <clears throat> but it's on. It's going to be on YouTube and probably Twitch as well because I think you can upload things there. Um, so there you go. Um, yep. Any special shows? You know, the Halloween show. Um, and when Dan Kitchen is done, his demo of Keystone Capers 2, which is coming along. I saw it in action. Um, 
I, I played it. <laughs> I played the game as well. How did I play the game? Did I play it on his iPad? I can't remember how I played it, but um, yeah, I did play. I did play um, Gold Rush. Now it's called. Mm -hmm. It's not called Key, Keystone Capers Two. It's oh, you should switch the thing. Over. Gold Rush. No, it's switched. Oh, it's, it's switched. all good. Okay, cool. And uh, he's also. We also saw pictures of his other upcoming game. Mm -hmm. um, he's working on which is Bon Voyage, which is, uh, he'll give a lot more details in his interview. So Ooh. stay tuned for that. Oh, here he is, Dan Kay's Yay. working on as, as he speaks. So he has us in the background Keep as going, his inspiration <laughs> for Gold Rush. Um, but, I'm stoked for that. I saw a, a screenshot. Yeah, yeah so it's yeah. on these little cards and there's good That's screenshot cool on there. One. And he showed me a lot of the graphics um, mm -hmm. that are going into the game. And we'll be um, putting some of the graphics in the interview, sharp. interspersing. Sharp. Yeah, he's a sharp cat. Yeah. Needs some cutting. Yep. No. I know. No, I wouldn't he, tempt fate. Yeah, no, he gave me a he, good scratch earlier. So. He'll be nice to you because you're a guest. <laughs> Not yeah, some. Right. <laughs> uh, to a point. Um, mm -hmm. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Instagram. I posted um, some pictures from uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. <laughs> And no, Gold Rush was not demoed. It was demoed for me, I guess. Um, I played it. I played it at uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Key it was price not demoed. forty-five is a first-time viewer. Oh, We're right welcome. at the Yay. end of the show. Right at the price. end. We'll be on again on Friday, so tune in. It'll be on yeah. at noon. And you can check us out on YouTube as well. If you yeah, want. all the archives of like fifty shows or something like that. Lots of shows. Lots of archives. Um, yeah. So follow us on Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. And you can see upcoming stuff, announcements, uh, a lot of photos from uh, from Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and uh, also the upcoming three interviews uh, as well from Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And that is it for now. Sounds good. And we will see you Friday at noon, and then next week again with Erilyn. Yeah, and at six p.m. for the Halloween show. Halloween show. Not, not, yes. not at noon if Darcy's not coming. Oh, not at noon. <laughs> 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Friday. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Every other week at noon. Yeah. I need to change that timing on my schedule there. Yeah. And thank you all for yes. watching. Yes. Thank you for watching. Lord Monkus, Ice Bosta, Tiki Dan K, Mr. Fix, Fix Ground Trooper. Trooper. We want Shoplifter. Dan AVC. Uh, Dan AVC. <laughs> we want Shoplifter. K Price 45. <laughs> Thanks for the tuning in for the first time. Splendid Nut, Zybot 67. Some new people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, S. Ramirez. 2008. Yeah. Uh, let's see if how far I can um, scroll XY back. XYBot67. Oh, I don't know if you already that said one, that one. I think. Uh, there were some early people who came in as well. Tiki Dan K. Mojo, Mojo Filter, Filter 2. 2. That's as far as I can scroll back. Oh, yeah. Back. Mojo with the, with the coma. Hopefully. Yes. You're the, doing better. Uh, any of these people talked? No. There's always a few people who hang Ground out. Ground Trooper. No. Okay. Arena Foot, of course. Um, so that's it, and thanks for tuning in. And uh, check us out in the YouTube archives for all the old shows. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back with many more fun games on Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Bye bye. Now I awkwardly pause while I press the stop button. That's okay. okay. Bye bye. <laughs>